and welcome to Earth Under Pond Scum, the show where we just interview people and get them to list the number of the species of fish that they know about. Um, joining me today is my co-host Kelly. Come on out, Kelly. Oh, God. Now, oh, man, I, you know, we were just saying this backstage, but it is just an incredible uh, disservice we do ourselves that uh, we uh, we deposed Josh, uh, our secret producer. We threw him off a cliff, and it turns out there were a bunch of things that he was actually doing that were useful. Like, for example, uh, he was hitting up all these cues perfectly on time, just like this. It's it's so true uh, what they say that you just you never really realize how much you loved him till you let him go. Yeah, it's uh, I mean, he's not he'll be back. He like didn't die or anything when he fell off the cliff. He just broke every bone in his body. Um, but, you know, he'll take a, he'll take a little while to recover and we'll welcome back with open arms when he's back. And hopefully he's uh, changed his attitude when he does so. So you've got different information sources than me because I thought he had like upwards of three or four bones in his body that were not broken oh wow that's i guess uh, you have probably have the updated x-rays <clears throat> yeah yeah between the first x-rays and the second x-rays he already had like three bones heal it was miraculous he might be wait no is that wolverine or is that more of deadpool um uh, oh. oh okay well i don't know he's, I don't he's wolfpool that's right uh mm. it's speaking of watching crap um, I don't know. I figured that it was just an alley for something. <laughs> I was like, are, are you just talking to the people in general that are watching our show? Because absolutely, yeah. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the audience. <laughs> that that was that's what that uh, that's what that transition was. Um. Well, why don't you name three to ten types of fish for me? So we can get the ball rolling here. So Three to ten types out. of fish. All right. Uh, so you've got uh, you've got tuna, mm-hmm. right? Uh, you've got um, you've got the awkward salmon. That's when you you put the mop between someone's legs, the wet mop. Uh huh. Yeah. You've got the uh, you've got the fish that's out of water. Wait, sorry, Another the one. wet mop. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sad. Is that not a thing? It was yeah. like I had a coworker who this was at summer camp. It was always full of weirdos. And wait, I think the original awkward salmon was you just take your hand between someone's thighs and just go awkward mm-hmm. salmon. But I think he did the same thing with a mop once, like a wet, dirty mop. And I think I just sort of permanently associated with that. Neat. So you've got that. You've got the salmon arm. And yeah, I uh, you've, how many am I at so far? That's uh, four, I think. Okay, you've got the ones in Mario that they 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 kind of like float up and down, and you have to like jump, swim past them. Yeah, totally. Uh, you've got a fish in sea. I mean, a lot of fish are in the sea, but you know. Yeah, that one specifically. Yep. Yeah, efficiency. You've got um. Uh. You've got eels, which uh, we've previously learned uh, we're putting on the fish list. Are are they fish? Um, I I as with most of our guests, I was only half listening to Sarah, so I assume that uh, we landed on eels are fish. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. you've got you've got trout. You know, no no notes on trout. Perfectly serviceable fish. Uh, what is that? What is that like eight? Um, yeah, something like that. I, well, you know, when they'd say a, a trout in the hand is worth two in the bush. So as long as it's in your hand, it counts as two. Okay, that's great. That yeah, that helps a so lot because I so was you struggling. Just need I was... One more. Um, and you know what? This is going to be a non-popular stance, uh, but dolphins. Oh, are dolphins fish? They, I, I've declared that they are. So they're on the list. The I list mean, I'm going to disagree, but... Luckily, we do have a fish expert as our guest today, so maybe we can bring out our guest and he can solve this dilemma for us. Are you working on this one? (laughs) 
I'm how's doing it going? Best. How's it going? Um, Finding that uh, it's not on the ones in the thing. Here, I'll save it. Why don't you oh, tell God. me about your? Uh, why don't you name ten things that aren't fish, and I'll get that going for us. Um, beer. True. Lamp. True. Jewelry box. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, this is the game. I want you to name 10 things that aren't fish that are not in your room right now. Oh, no. Yeah, and then I'll, I, I have it all queued up, so we'll bring up the guests as soon as you can do that. Oh, God. Our, our, our guest is not a fish, supposedly. Well, well, we can ask him. Okay, so there's one. We st- well, we have two, two viewers, so that's, that's two more. Okay. And um, the seven deadly sins. There we go. Damn, are none of them fish? I don't have time to check, so let's bring them out. <laughs> the best part is I didn't even have to instruct him. He was already just doing the jaunty dance. Oh, man. This is a great thing. Fishing for compliments or anything. See, this is why we had to throw Josh off a cliff, because he wouldn't let the beautiful themes play out. He kept turning them off, and that was just unacceptable. <laughs> and he wouldn't God. dance to them. So, welcome, Jesse. Um, our guest today is a fish biologist and writer. Hello. Thank you ah. for having me. It's great yeah, to be of course. Here. Thanks for coming on. Our two viewers are very thrilled, I'm sure. So, two viewers? Hello? Oh, where do you get to see the viewers? I want to see where the viewers are at. This might be um, privileged information guest. Okay, get to know, because he's on the guest This link. is classified. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of thoughts about what you did and did not think was a fish. Oh, hell yeah. Earlier. If, um, I mean, <laughs> starting at the top, eels, did, did you guys settle on they are a fish? Um, was your I, 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 I have, but uh, a little birdie told me that they were they were fish. And no, you were told by a bird. So. Okay. Hmm. Not what not are, a classical fish, but a, a sensual fish, I think, was the distinction. Speak? Regis Philbin, final answer, fish? Eels uh, are fish. Sorry. Eels are fish? That's, eels are fish. Okay. Dolphins All not right. fish. Dolphins are not fish. I knew no. it. Dolphins, are Dolphins weren't fish. I'm just, like, making a declaration here. That is also true. Yeah. Wait, so, well, well, not well. Okay, so you have ancient fish evolving and then you have the first tiktolic the first uh what is it like four limb limbed reptile looking thing that crawled out of the ocean or whatever those do a bunch of evolving on land then you get your mammals and then some of the mammals evolve to go back into the ocean that's your whales and dolphins so they're like we tried this land thing it's not working out actually kind of but let's go into the sea uh but yeah not not currently fish no it's not right, a bad and they did really. it for you know for better efficiency, That's thus right. becoming loved that, fish by the way. in sea. So you, no. you already made that joke. I need you ipso to facto. Yeah, I, no, this is not. This is just my argument. All right, like it's, it's like being a lawyer. You have to really like set up your point in your initial argument so that you can like return to it during the cross examination. Yep. Do, do you want me to? Here, here's where I think you went wrong in your list of ten fish. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you were off to a great start with things like tuna and Mm -hmm. salmon um and then if you just you know think yes i i she had to interrupt you because you were beginning to compliment me and she won't let that stand (laughs) well (laughs) well i just have to contradict you there because i had heard that you can tune a guitar but you can't tune a fish so clearly a tuna is not a fish you can tune some fish that's what people don't know that's what they don't know know, you're not going to hear stuff like that on the on the evening news of course but uh, but uh, sharks are fish. You could have probably knocked out another three or four with sharks you might know. You know, they're cartilaginous fish. They're different subclass of fish, but they're technically all fish. Well, see, and that's why I was trying to get dolphins in, because I'm trying to get sharks mm-hmm. out. Right. So, like, yeah. I don't like I know this is a lot of people consider this, you know, a bit like reactionary and, you know, racist, but I don't like cartilaginous fish. I don't trust don't them. like the cartilaginous guys. No. Uh, you know, like cartilaginous Jalenda Esther, whatever the Roman phrases so um yeah we we need to uh burn all of the shark habitats down and salt it so that they can't uh respond again 
Yeah, more and more people are saying that. Um, mm -hmm. I was just reading something insane about sharks, about how long, when did they first evolve? How long sharks evolve is what I googled for this, which is useful. Uh, okay, sharks started becoming a thing between 50 and 35 million years ago. Um, whereas human civilization, you're looking in the, in the tens of thousands of years. That's so. really cool. And they survived uh, five mass extinctions, apparently. Yeah, so. actually, I just watched a documentary about sharks the other day. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Jaws. Uh, no, actually, okay, it was something people else. Get mad at you if you say that. Let me just check. Look it up here. So while she's doing that, I really want to, uh, since we're doing compliments corner here, please. I really want to admire your like Colonel Kurtz Apocalypse Now setup, where you're kind of like <laughs> just deep in shadow and kind of staring <laughs> off into the middle <laughs> distance. <laughs> I have like, saying this like, like shocks, Christmas lights. Here. Shocks never change. I was hoping this would be brighter than it is, so it wouldn't look like I'm like in a hideaway cabin on my ranch or whatever. But it's good. It's very like it, it lends gravitas. That's and it also okay. covers weight gain. I don't, you know, I don't know if that's your thing, yep. but that was definitely Brando's thing. So, hey, after three freaking years of the pandemic, eating all sorts of things I shouldn't be eating. Yeah. Well, once you become live streaming experts like us, like I've, this is why I've got this gimmicky desk set up. So it's I just the right setup. height to cover my paunch. So gotcha. it gets basically kind of grown linearly with the episodes we've done, but you can't tell because it's, you know, it's what is it's a paunch? Cleverly... Is it paunch like the, this section of your stomach here? I, th I thought it was just like a polite way of saying gut. My gut. Okay. See, that's where I'm going to have some issues I anticipate in terms of what I'm choosing to eat. Right, but you can just turn the lights darker. Sure. That's what I've done. That's what I've done. <laughs> yeah. Well, you that's probably why gorgeous, you're doing though. a podcast and not a live stream. I that's right. That's... I've been trying to convince Kelly for it to do a podcast so I can just let myself go, but... Yep. Yeah. Well, and that's probably a good segue into your setup because you this is a pretty new project for you. You've started up a blog and you were telling me you thought sure. about doing a podcast. I sure did. And... As we cannot abide a podcast, uh, we really thought it would, you know, behoove us to try and convince you that no, what you should be doing is like a, a baffling baroque live stream that's very hard to explain or pitch to people. Uh, far more respectable than a podcast. I was just thinking this this morning. Yeah, I love this idea. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. Yeah, you can use our streaming account because I'm paying through the nose for it and I keep forgetting to use it. Is it like a monthly thing where they get you? The, it is, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's how they get you. Yeah, I've, uh, I don't know, I do a lot. But you do can't days. put a price on being able to do this. Oh my God. That's true, though. <laughs> yes, I was looking at this yesterday. Um, I wasn't, okay, that, saying that makes it seem like I was, okay. Let me read You were looking at that <laughs> picture yesterday? <laughs> Somehow, like, <laughs> someone on my Twitter retweeted that picture of a fish and a person making intercourse. And I feel like I'm never going to forget that. Like when I'm dying on my bed or something, that's going to be like the last thing that flashes in my head is like one last injustice from this world to oh, see something King. like that. We got this comment, which I can only assume is in response to that picture. Looking right. I assume we it's in the... response to my takedown of sharks, but you know, we can all get to our, <laughs> have our own interpretation of it. Stingrays too. You realize you lumped in the dang stingrays with the cartilaginous fishes just yeah, think well, what I you know don't what they're, like they're guilty by association with sharks that's right i think what i don't like about cartilaginous fish is that it has the word cartel in it so it just yeah. e immediately makes me think like crime like yep. that's why they, that's why where we came with the term sleeping with the fishes right yep <laughs> sleeping with the cartilaginous people are saying fishes. this more and more i'm seeing, I'm seeing this <laughs> constantly you're right mm -hmm. you're absolutely right can't trust him. And yeah. Stingrays killed Steve Irwin, so... That's they true. Can, they can't That's be forgiven. Right. They can call it a go. freak accident if they want, but... You think it was a tar targeted, <laughs> some sort of targeted hit of some kind? Yeah, it's a conspiracy. Who paid the Stingray? Consp conspiracy. Yeah, okay. Conspiracy! But they already go. took this, so <laughs> Netflix, uh, it kind of, uh, I haven't seen it, but I've heard, like, some Mom, researchers don't like it. Diet. Conspiracy is a documentary on Netflix about, like, fishing or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. remember, I don't know what about it sucks, but I remember seeing some criticism, but point is, yeah. they already stole it here on there, I'm sorry, and they trademarked mm -hmm. it, so you won't be able to 
I did hear about that. I remember looking maybe. up why it sucked briefly. Um, I think they just used some shoddy or like maybe like extrapolating or hyperbolizing some study that was like all the fish will be gone by 2050, which is like not true, but fish. No, do they'll be gone by 2040. <laughs> That's, it's like our fish are under a huge amount of like threats across the globe, depending on the species, or whatever. But it's not like get the impression they were like scooping them out with a big shovel or something like all of them. Yeah. Ones, but yeah, it's I mean, yeah, it's the Michael Moore thing where they're yeah. taking a, a serious problem that we should need to look at and address. But then like also like blowing it up, taking things out of context, making it sound worse than it is to make it yeah, like exactly sensationalized, which makes it. Which almost like works against the movement, I would say, because then it's people are like, well, all these things are wrong about this. Why would I care if this, these yeah. people are lying to us? I think a lot of the researchers would, would agree with you that like that kind of like misinformation doesn't really help in the end, because then you just give people plausible deniability to be like, well, you lied about this thing. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Same thing. Similar stuff happens in climate space of like people doing sensationalized headlines that aren't necessarily true, but blowing it up anyways do you think steve Irwin death tape will leak on our lifetime i thought this did happen am i mistaken no. on that oh god if I you're in the that. audience and you have the steve Irwin death plate death tape please send it in i please god don't what an insane like thing to videotape though poor guys but like oh it does exist Ugh. i wonder i think the, maybe i was thinking of the estate was like suing to be like don't release this please or something i saw something in the news about Poor Steve Irwin and his, that poor Stingray. I mean, the Stingray, I guess, got, nobody wants that kind of interaction, you know? Mm -hmm. So if, yeah. if you had to be killed by some sort of marine animal, I guess I have two questions. One, which one do you think it will be in the end is going to is going to Steve Irwin you? And the other question is, which one would you prefer it to be? Oh, this is tough. Okay. Okay. So I have the one I, I can tell you, I don't want to go out like, R.I.P. to the king. I love Steve Irwin, I think. I don't know. I haven't really done it. I don't know that much about Steve Irwin. Put an asterisk. But, you love him in case yeah. uh, pending nothing coming out about him. Like there's, someone's going to be like, oh, you didn't know Steve Irwin did. Uh, he's super canceled. And then I'll be like, oh, my God. How could yeah, I he done? was molesting that stingray. He was. Yeah, he was doing something unconscionable. Mm. Uh, but I, I, what I believe about stingrays is they're, they're bar they have barbs in them. So that must have been extremely painful. Uh, yeah. to get stabbed. I don't want to get stabbed by anything. I think I would rather be taken out by oh, I, my instinct here is to say shark, but I, that doesn't sound good either. Like, I any, feel like is, I is would it any want... marine organism? Or what are the rules here? I mean, I feel like because if you're getting Steve Urban, you kind of have to be doing your job. So your job isn't like, your job is like basically fish shit. Yes. So you have to be mm -hmm. somehow working and gotten by one of the animals that's like in your my computer. study. Well, I mean, I like, mean would you ever be in some here. sort of like like little like rickety mm. wooden swamp boat like in a bayou? Because if you were the, even if you're there no. for the fish, I feel like getting got by an alligator does count. Yeah, as far as the uh, river biology stuff, I've mostly only been. Uh, on like the computer end. I haven't gotten to be do much field work yet in the river, but I come from a background where doing deep sea ecology at the University of Hawaii for grad school. And we would go out on like research cruises, they call them to like, you know, deploy beta traps and instruments and stuff. Um, and I would not be killed by any of the deep sea fish we caught up because unfortunately they like are going to be dead when you pull them up um, from barotrauma, which is the pressure changing. Um, but what's more likely is being killed by like, a falling piece of machinery or something <laughs> or like the scariest way of dying that my one of my my grad student mentor great guy he was like you got to be careful about this because if they're throwing a big heavy trap in the water and there's a big line attached to it and there's a big loop in that line and if you put your leg in that loop as that thing falls it'll tighten around your leg and it'll drag you off the boat into the bottom of the sea into davy jones's locker of course Good lord. So you'd be sinking, sorry to give anyone who has terrible fear of drowning in the ocean, but the idea of sinking uh, faster than you can deal with, looking up and you're like, well, I'm just in the water now, and then seeing all the lights slowly fade away and you're like, now I'm food for deep sea fish. Um, so that is probably the way I will be killed, perhaps. Right. Um, that syncs up with the way I want to be killed, which is not that exactly, but like basically the same experience you're describing, mm -hmm. but some sort of like 
um, like very sentient, gigantic octopus, like bringing yes. me down, but in a way that it's like, it's trying to love me, but doesn't realize it will kill me. Right. I think that's the way I want to go. That sounds nice. Yeah. The way I that's... will go if it's a work situation at this point in my life is probably like bear o trauma, but that's like bear hyphen o hyphen trauma, which is getting mauled by a bear when I'm taking a piss. That could happen, right? Probably will, yeah. What kind of bear you got there? Uh well let me think name team let me name you ten bears here. Oh dick. Okay. <laughs> It's leaning over with steepled fingers, like yeah, go on, ten bears. Yeah, you got uh, all right. So you got your black bears, nailed it. You got your brown bears, love it. Um, I I feel like as a child I was certain there was a real distinction where there's some like a grizzly bear is something distinct. Yes. Uh, I don't know if that's true, and I don't care to find out. I pr I'm pretty sure that's legit. You've got now, polar now bears. you found out polar bears, of course. Got it. Uh, mm -hmm. you've got panda bears. Sure. You've got uh I'm gonna I'm gonna use the phrase koala bears. Uh you've got uh here here in Alberta, uh at the university here, we have golden bears, um, which are definitely not a made up mascot. Uh you've got uh what else is it? Oh shit. Po did I say polar bears? You, you did, did say polar bears. And I'm sorry, I gotta cut your uh you one point by the koalas are, are not actually bears, technically. They but people CBS. say bears, and so I'm steaming through it. Oh, that's, that's right. That's why I wanted to add the drop bears. Yes. And I'm gonna not look at the chat and say gummy shit, fuck you, I already had it. Okay, <laughs> okay I'm taking that off. No, I'm not cheating. Uh you've got your build of bears. It. You've got build of bears. And you've got bear arms, which we love to see in the summer. That's right. I have a sweater on, but all of those might kill me. Especially the drop bears. I hear they're water really bears. bad in Canada. Oh, but... water bears. Those are nice. The little guys. Mm hmm. Yeah. I can't remember the technical term for them, but water bears oh, sounds cuter. Oh, so. boy. Tardigrade. Yeah. I don't think this. you can say that word anymore. They're very. <laughs> it's, I do wonder if they're going to change that. Probably not. But... Moss piglets. You can call them moss piglets. <gasps> That's oh, I love that cute. even more. That's so cute. Yeah, and that doesn't have a weird uh, word that at least feels problematic. <laughs> Moss I, yeah. Segment it only sounds microwaves. problematic because I pointed it out and made it sound problematic. So that's right. Well, I mean, please don't. Please don't we're, let her. We're all thinking you. it every time. I don't know. Mm. Now, of Moss all the piglets. people here, the one most likely to be killed at animals at work, though, I think, is Nicole. That's possible. That's, yeah, it seemed for possible sure. from what you were describing. Yeah. Yeah, one day the mice are gonna take their vengeance out on me. I've dreamed about it several times. Mm -hmm. um, like I Willard. Hmm? Are you familiar with Willard? Will Willard? The, the movie where Christian Crispin Glover controls rats with his mind? I think. No, but I can see Crispin Gov Glover playing that role very well. I don't remember anything about it other than that sentence I just described, but yeah. That's, I mean, that's all I need to know. I'm Could gonna go and watch it now. Be careful. It's mice. They're schemers. Mm. I, so you're yeah, just not going to name 10 mice? Or are we just going to breeze past that? Do you well, want me to name 10, 10 mice? Yeah, don't lie to name me this time. Last time you challenge. lied to me about... Yeah, oh, you're into mice? Name 10. Name your 10 favorite. 10 mice. Ten. Do you... Okay, I can do this. Um, C57 Black 6 is the most popular. Bulb oh, C's. Totally. Close second. Um, BTBRs. Uh, Muck 2. Um, Technically correct. <laughs> Can't scan it. Got a, something for, some help from the chat here. Um, Mickey. Yeah, that's a rat. That doesn't count. Yeah, that's fair. Um, what about Stuart? Yeah, um, rats are the sharks of Stuart mice. Little? Get out of here. Stuart, yeah. Stuart Little, yes. Yeah. Um, He's a mouse. Yeah. Yeah, he was a mouse. Um, Ratatouille, of course. Famous mouse. <laughs> Famously, yeah. What was that mouse from... Um, the Great Mouse Detective. The Great no. Mouse Detective. Nobody watched that? It was like a mouse that was just like Sherlock Holmes and he was solving a crime? No, I was on that Red Wall shit. You guys are reading the Red Wall where the mice are all medieval? Oh, was, yeah. Yeah, that's what I... That's, you got some mice in there. Yep. Great yeah, Mouse absolutely. Detective. Yeah, what was the other one? What was the other one that was about mice? It was like... Basil the Great out. Mouse Detective. His name's Basil? Yep. Yeah, he was very British. He smoked a pipe. 
Um, okay. And, oh god, what was that mouse from? Oh no, he was a rat too. I was going to say Mickey. from Charlotte's Web. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that's ten. How many are you at? Like four? Oh shit, okay. I think that was uh, eleven. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Pinky in the brain, that's two mice. Bible from American oh. ta Tale? And you, of yeah. course, have the three blind mice. Did you say those guys? I didn't. Oh, my oh, goodness. I am, bam, bam, bam. consider myself a mouse expert, but I'm ruining myself. Although I can do a pretty good, like, pinky We can make you go to 20 if you want. So. Yeah. I think it's only fair. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Can I make uh, up for it? What? With what? Someone, someone asked me, are you pondering what I'm pondering, pinky? Oh, 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 me? Uh, yeah, either, yeah either one guess. Of you. this is your job. We forgot to tell uh, you. Are you pondering what I'm pondering, Pinky? I think so, Brain. But why don't snowmobiles melt in the summer? <laughs> <laughs> but I was—I didn't realize I was supposed to be doing Brain, so I—I I don't know how oh. to do. He's got a really mess. That's a really good Pinky impression, though. Thank you. Did yeah, you do the voice of Pinky? I did actually. Yeah, that was my career before I worked in the lab. That's why they hired me. Um, do you got this? I know this is unrelated, but you guys want to. I finally looked it up. Do you want to know how many different species of fish that are we aware of? You had to guess yes. like a number. Ooh, well, it's more we than 10. We know that. It's at least 10. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say 3,476. Species of fish? Species of fish. You said 3,000. So we're in the 3,000 3, range 3,476. 3, oh, okay. I guess I won't guess. No, that's not the real answer. That was your guess. Oh, okay. that is not the real answer. Sorry, that was confusing. Uh, all Please. right. And then, now I, I'm being forced to include sharks, but not dolphins, right? Oh, um, yeah. Yes, this I is including sharks, old but not dolphins. Right. Uh, I'm going to go with, like, were you implying hers was close or were you just restating her? I am trying to project no feelings whatsoever. No feelings whatsoever. I'm going to say 12,862. 12,862. Well, you're both freaking wrong, okay? We're both way low. It's, it's uh, like 34,000. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Of. Fishbase has 34. Fishbase is like a great site if you like, um, if you like Wikipedia, but you're like, what if this was only about fish? And I had mm -hmm. like the aesthetics of like a 90s GeoCities webpage. I love, unironically love Fishbase. A lot of really beautiful information on fish in there. Um, however, they have 34... Thousand eight hundred, I believe. So I was off by a magnitude of ten. Yeah, yeah which tens. is, I mean, in terms of like a log scale, that's actually pretty close. That sounds like the thing that I bought. You know those like big Billy fish. You know, take me to the river, Billy bass. sing on. Yeah, and uh, but like the sound is really tinny. But if you bought their little peripheral and plug in the little woofer to it, you'd have some fish bass. So I guess I my. I did have a qualm here. You did say we were using a log scale, but I thought that we were using fish scales. Oh my god. <laughs> so... <laughs> the first one, you hit me with the first one. And burst the blood vessels by my eyes. <laughs> I was putting that together at the same time like a like a really stupid detective. I was like fish peripheral base, like Billy Bass. And yeah. you got it. Well, Good when you're thinking God. of fresh peripherally, you start thinking of is it halibut that have their eyes just like that's right on the sides? Yeah, they got just that them, fish, yeah, they got that fish thing. peripheral vision, right? <laughs> have you? Do you know how big those fish can get? Like, do you have like a sense in your head of how big a halibut is? Uh, I want to say like a large dog because you're asking. Dude, Otherwise, you, I would have. Do you have access to like Google it with you? Or are you able to? Search no, things? I don't have an internet connection. You know. <laughs> My grandpa goes deep sea, deep sea fishing. I I know the general scope of it. Halibut, halibut there's big size. as hell. If you just look at yeah. like big like halibut, as tall as a, as big, a person. I mean, some of these I'm seeing are just small dog size, but they oh yeah, this get, dude like, is this dude is like hugging a, uh, a a terror beyond my imagination. Yeah, I believe they can live like 15, 20 years. Greenland halibut can I think would be like seventy. That's oh, funny. this thing is so. Is it possible you'll get killed by a halibut? Uh, if you oh no, a halibut. Okay, max age like fifteen. That's not that bad. I'm gonna. Um, you could get it killed by a halibut. I think they're really. I bet they would be really strong in like a fight if you like put it up next to your head and they just slapped you. Um, really muscly fish like a tuna, like a full big ass tuna. I bet they could kill you if they whapped you with the tail. I don't know really how that would happen. Fish. But... 
Are they like if you no one of the muscular and then swung fish? It like a sword. Yes. Very buff fish. Tuna are like the sports cars of the ocean. They're like built all around sustained speed and they're like torpedo shaped. And they have like this fucked up, really weird like blood system that cool. Oh, that's a big, that's a big halibut. Wow, that's a big halibut. Sure is. Um, wait, Nicole, what was your question? Didn't you ask me something? Um, this is I great. Don't it remember, but we do have a, we do you have a and guest I question here. here. I don't know why I'm leaning. Like I'm going to lean out of the. Doesn't matter. If you lean farther, it will work. I bet this thing could kill you. Oh shit! Oh my god! Is that <laughs> no, what I meant to do? <laughs> oh, they were like the same color and pigmentation. That's yeah. <laughs> so it's like oh, it's another another large uh, dead Greenland halibut. Oh no! Another real catch. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. Big fish. Okay, so we do have one more question from the chat. Please, has anyone been killed by a parrotfish? I don't think so. Um, do you do y'all know what a parrotfish is? It looks like. Um, no. That's Does it look like funny. a parrot? Very, very <clears throat> goofy looking fish. They have like a little, God, they're so funny looking. Jesus. Beautifully colored fish, usually in coral reefs, and they chomp up corals to consume the algaes and um, other biological stuff inside and like shit out the coral dust or the chalk. Oh, essentially. Jesus. But they have big chompers like this and that they grind up and it looks like they have kind of like a beak. Oh, okay, I think um, I have seen them. I We have a parrotfish enthusiast of the chat. Excellent. Parrotfish time, parrotfish time. If you put, I bet if you put your finger in their mouth, they could bite you pretty hard. I don't know if I could like lop it off, but I think that would hurt. So if and you if were you going, like, them. trying to like, uh, what is it, the catfishing, where you have to get them with your noodling, tick tickling? Yeah, like if you were going for one of those and there happened to be a parrotfish somebody planted there as a prank, you might lose your finger. I don't know. Yeah. I, the catfish will mess your. Well, catfish are catfish and parrotfish are not going to be in the same, uh, you know, space. No, I yeah, meant if someone put it there, like as a, oh, there. like as a prank. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. That's very possible. You could take your dang arm clean off. I um, said I think catfish you only find on Tinder. That's <laughs> Thanks. This one is um, great. This one, I, if, I mean, our background should be that if we're being honest. It's pretty, isn't it? If they're there for a chomping coral, they should probably be able to chomp someone's finger off, right? That's what I'm thinking, right? Is like a stick a baby carrot in that? Yeah, I bet it goes, you know. So you these know are the mean. kind of experiments we should be funding. Yes. Oh, I'm sure someone is, someone at uh, Department of Defense is working on it right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, in your area, I'm saying we, the Canadian uh, oh, government, right. should I be... Oh, right, you guys are Canadian. Yeah, because so we need sorry. to be... We need to be uh, like keeping up with you guys in terms of like the the fish arms race. That's right. Yeah, I mean fish some of my arms. favorite fish are fish Canadian. Fish don't have arms, Kelly. Yeah, and there's um, there's a great joke about salmon arm there if I hadn't made it earlier, but you know. <laughs> um, what are your what are your favorite Canadian fish? My favorite yeah, name Canadian, ten Canadian fish. fish. <laughs> what is a Canadian fish? What do they have off the coast of like Nova Scotia? It's the common fish Well, they cache. used to have cod. <laughs> right. <laughs> so and much they, anymore. That crashed in like the 80s, right? Uh, I think. Well, it's yeah, fish. you know, only because the government told them to stop fishing. There's presumably right. billions in there, but it's those dang... Brook you know, Brown Those dang Rainbow bureaucrats Trout. in Ottawa telling them they can't drive the fish yeah. extinct. We can't <laughs> tell if this is a shit post or not. The maple trout comment. This is a maple trout. It might be like a name of a... If nothing else, That's maple trout is a good shibboleth if someone is, you know, like pretending to be Canadian and you're like, oh, yeah, well, what's that? What's that fish that Josie made up? And they'll be like maple trout. And then, you know, then you put them in your little Canadian gulag. Maple trout. Nanaimo is... base is actually then one of the names of one of my favorite DJs. Famous Canadian DJ, Nanaimo base. Nanaimo base. That's a good What is a Nanaimo bass? I want to I want to circle back and instead of saying K Canadian gulag, I just want to say igloo log. That's pretty good. Sorry, I'm really looking at all your beautiful Canadian fish here, and you, you've got a lot to offer here in, on the, off the coast of Canada. Gorgeous well, fish. You know, we don't like to brag, but... <laughs> you got some, you got some chain pickerel, Atlantic we, salmon. We here in Alberta trout. don't like to brag about our oceanic fish, but... Yeah, it's, you've got beautiful... Uh, you know, and also some of my favorite TV shows film in Canada, which is cool. Ooh, like so. what? You got your Twin Peaks, right? It's great. Uh, you got X Files, I think. Did uh, X Files film in Canada? I thought they filmed yeah. either in uh, Pacific Northwest or like right over the border. I think X Files mm -hmm. was filming in Vancouver before it was cool, but I don't. That remember. sounds correct for me. 
Twilight? And those are pretty much the only two shows I watch. Oh, Twilight. Yes, Twilight, of course. Mm. Oh, great movies, great films. <laughs> no, Just... no notes. What was the... <laughs> you guys have an original question about a fish? <laughs> well, my favorite Canadian fish, of course. I don't know. You, you really do have quite a few uh, rich diversity. Uh, yeah. In the Atlantic. Don't Oops. worry. We're working on doing things about that diversity. Yes, yeah, so you can just cut that right out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's nip that out of the bud. So we we passed like two or three excellent segues for the uh, what I guess you could call our book club section. Book club. I always wanted to be in a book Ooh. club. Well, I'm yeah, sorry, I'm before because you said a really great phrase, which was making intercourse, and like, boy, is that the sexiest way to frame it? Is that not what you guys? Is that not what you guys call it up there? Uh, I mean, depends who you're speaking to. You know, when you're talking to your grandma, you're supposed to say, "Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I couldn't come to the phone, grandma. I was making intercourse." But like, no. you go up to someone at the bar, like, "Hey, baby, you want to make intercourse?" Then it's just something know. like Hank Hill would say, probably. You, that's right. Like, if you're hot enough, anything works. But you know. Before this descends into total debauchery, I wanted to say, speaking of book clubs, um, oh, I saw your blog post about writing Sweetgrass, and I have been working on reading it for the last, like, six to 18 months, and I was Scrim. like, hey, I know that book. Oh, you'd already been working on reading it. Oh, yeah. I, I relate to that. I can never, I, like, start a book, and it takes me, like, nine months to actually like, yeah. finish it appreciately. Great book, well, though, for real. Yeah, well, this one especially, because it's, like, little, like, segments and, like, mini-essays. Mm -hmm. It's, like, I can read one and then put it away Absolutely. and read, like, something else. And then, but, yeah, really, really good. She's yeah, uh, fantastic. Huge recommend. Uh, I listened to the audiobook, which made it, I was also playing Stardew Valley and in a tent, so I, like, was able to just kind of mainline the whole book. It was very, very great experience. Made up yes. for uh, almost getting food poisoning at the A and W burger restaurant on the way out. Well, you, you said you're not. You said the words. I forgot to tell you not to say those words because now the entire remainder of the stream is going to be spent talking about Stardew Valley. Who I did you marry? Food, food poisoning. I thought you guys were like, we love food poisoning here. No, did you see the way she lit up when you said Stardew <laughs> Valley? Chat. I'm a, I'm amazed she remained like upright. It's a great game. I've tried it on like three platforms now, and I managed to uh, get somewhat far in this little tablet one. Still not sure who to romance yet, but I'm um, trying to focus on myself time and kind of build up my uh, wine making business in the, in the game. Yeah, yeah, Fair. like you know, it's it, you. You really got to focus on your, yourself and just kind of quiet it down, and you'll come to realize the only correct answer is Leah, and then your your life is fine. Oh, you know? gonna, okay, I thought you were gonna make fun of me, but I feel like she's the only she's the only one for me besides. Uh... God, there's so many great characters in that game. Yeah, I mean, the man's the mayor. Can you like fall in love with the mayor? I assume not. I mean, in your in your head, you can. In my fan fiction, you can. Sure. Didn't we like look up a bunch of like patches that people had made for the game where you can like hook no. up with any character? Oh, that's cool. But it did, yeah. I thought you were gonna say like the Stardew Valley sex scene patches, adult version Stardew Valley. <laughs> Probably like, that also. They also sure did the exists. ones where you make your uh, like the characters are all replaced with like like anime hunks and stuff what and, the yeah. i mean sure you know uh but yeah i i also should add the caveat that like leah's also is the obvious is it leah or leah i don't ever know what i don't is. know they never tell you right so that's the obvious choice but at the same time uh like fuck off she's mine you can't have her so sure i, I like already Shane. married her so suck it yeah yeah that's so fair. uh i guess that's also a good segue <laughs> Oh, the other one was your really excellent accent. Nine? No, 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 the Nichols. No, yours oh, is yours like, just dog shit. I have, like, the most, <laughs> the most newscaster, like, boring-ass accent. I mean, you're saying trout. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, as we do have, uh, we've had a run of some pretty intense erotica reading, as evidenced by our ever-growing pile. Is that what that is over there? Is it's that mostly a yeah, so we sorry. This is our pile of erotica and weird pseudoscience quackery. Okay, kind of I was going to say, did he get into erotica? Because that's absolutely cursed. That is he, hellish. Well, maybe. But I'm, fine. I'm hearing that he's still just on the on his like pseudoscience bullshit. He he like just got out of jail, I think. So maybe expect <laughs> new things in the Ryan from him. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's funny. I we did. We read from this book on our on our side stream that we do when we don't have a guest. Jesus. So. Um, but Please I decided. Continue, though, sorry, I got sidetracked. No, it's fine. About Kevin Interrupting <laughs> is like the main thing we do here. So great. <laughs> or it's the main thing I do to Nicole. So and the guests, I do it to Nicole and the guests equally. So I think that's fair. 
I try to also interrupt Kelly, to be fair, but he just doesn't stop talking. He just talks right over me. So it's not not so much of an interruption as just like we're a massive jumbled confusion for our guests. Um, That's right. It's called winning. It's how I think. It's how I think. It's the same as it's going on here. But we did take some time off from the show uh, for the royal morning period, of course, which of course. You know, we're still observing. And we're kind of in the, I guess you would call it the re- refractory period of the royal morning period, where oh, like no. we finished morning, but we can't quite start anything for a few little bit. And uh, so instead of getting into our usual stock of just extremely upsetting shit, I, ah, uh, oh, the slug dick. Yeah, I don't know if we've, you know we've we've Slug we've trodden dick. that snail trail already, and what I thought would be nice and wholesome would be to try and actively look for a specific type of not even necessarily erotic fiction this time, just fan fiction. So I went online looking for fan fiction, uh, and I was trying to use uh, search terms like royal family fan fiction, Queen Elizabeth fan fiction, and. Uh, I don't know. What do you? What kind of stuff do you guys think I found? I think that's the first real question here. Did you find Queen Elizabeth fan fiction? Because I totally have a hat for this. Please. You, uh, I th- if you have a Queen Elizabeth fan fiction hat, I think you should go get it right now, and I'll just stop. So how time. would there be a hat for this? What kind of hat would that be? We're about to find out. This is the beauty of. See, this is this is the My kind God. of thing. This is part of our pitch to you. You just can't do this on a podcast. I'm I always considered that. I'm always so frustrated listening to podcasts and I'm like, what hat are they wearing? No oh, one will tell me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just mentally preparing. I, I realized, of course, people made this. Like, of course, people made I never considered that people might have. This is amazing. Amazing hat. Oh, no. I'm not sure how the headphones are going to. Yeah, okay. I ran into that problem hand. last week. Uh, well, <laughs> let's just call it last week, last time. They should and, just make uh, a. Yeah, that has the headphones with it. Well, yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, okay. Okay. There's no way people made this, though, right? So, okay, I, I will say did. this. I know they did. Well, like our previous distinction we made between romance and erotica, there's difference between, like, fanfic and erotic fanfic. So, uh, I thought it would be maybe even appropriate this time to just, because it's, you know, the morning period, to do some less erotic fanfic because there is a like i think this might be unsurprising but there is a lot of just general fan fiction of royals it (sighs) there's i had to sort through so many entries that were just like prince uh william and uh kate the one yeah just like having a good time. There was no. one about them having a good time in Canada and they like go to an unnamed concert, which in my head is definitely a rush concert. Oh. And yeah, it's like, it's all very just, it's, it's everything you would expect from the kind of people online talking about how sad they are. Uh, but before we get into what I did, well, I mean, I have a few options. I don't know. I'll read you the ones I thought we shouldn't do. So we have one where uh, I thought it would be kind of really like on brand for us for the role playing we do, but it was actually just very long and boring where like a bunch of kids are playing D and D and, or do they go LARPing and then they meet princess Diana and then like they go save the Royal family with her in real life. I don't know. It was very boring. I don't think it's worth reading. And, uh, Oh God, this screen is so far away. I'm just like, I'm, I'm realizing I was a fool to not even have considered this, but now that I'm aware of the concept of people doing fanfic for like the Royals, it is open to my mind to like how much horrible. Okay. It's like a particle beam hitting my brain right now. Yeah. Well, like, again, I think you'll feel better if I tell you about the, some of the stuff that we're not reading, uh, like this person. So do you know what shipping is? Oh yeah. Well, okay. Let me see if I, I feel like I know what shipping is. It's when there's two characters, let's say in like the Simpsons. And you, you want them to, to get together in the end. And the, as a fan base, you're like, oh, we ship Homer and uh, Lenny or whatever. And right. you're hoping that they will one day have, have a romance uh, arc in the show. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Nice. No, you nailed it. Uh, it that's so good. I won't even make a joke about like how no shipping is actually how you get goods from place to place. We'll just keep going. Oh. So <laughs> this person shipped uh, 
Princess, wait. Well, if you had to ship two members of the like extended royal family, who would they be? Yeah, like my like freight shipping. Family. Now I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm messed up. Like <laughs> either, either one. You, I guess you answer both questions. Who would you ship far away, and who would you ship with each other? Oh God, Prince Andrew, please far away. Which? Oh my God, I'm gonna have to Google which one is which. Prince Andrew is like the really. He's the Epstein one. Okay. Yeah. That's Thankfully, I found true. nothing <laughs> on him. I don't think he's that popular, honestly. Thank, th- I should thank Christ that that is not okay. Right. But like, who could who could I ship? What's that possibilities here? So I, I feel like, are you guys as Canadians exposed to like the same level of, of royal family bullshit as I mean, even in America, it's like on the news and shit. But oh, yeah. do you have to hear about this shit all the time? So are you like oh, really yeah. familiar with the with the canon? Yeah, so yeah, because so, the thing is, we are part. Sorry, no, I'm gonna stop talking over Nicole. I was gonna say, yeah, we are still technically part of the Commonwealth, and so not only do we have to hear about it on the news and shit, but we also have to hear all of our grandparents and parents uh, complain a bit about it. So yeah, awesome. I. Uh, and we have to, to name shit after them every time they visit. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I uh, had a conversation with my grandma the other day where she told me that she thinks that Meghan Merkel is um, conspiring to destroy the monarchy so it's fucking neat okay <laughs> huh yeah so I, I feel like you guys are aware of more of the potential character pool that we can form ships from but i'm aware of the, their corgis can i ship corgis together yeah i'm aware of uh megan markle don't know who her husband is but they're uh, already together so you can ship those people yeah you're not close to guessing do you have any guesses nicole um, you know what? I'm honestly not that familiar with the extended royal family either, yeah, but I'm going to say. Okay. Well, they were shipping Diana and Prince Philip, so. Oh. Wait, well... which one is Prince Philip? Prince Please Philip is me. the queen's dead husband. <laughs> Prince Philip is the halibut looking motherfucker. No. no. <laughs> he's, okay, so he's no. the one that. I mean, no. to be fair, they have a lot no. of this, common. There you go. No, this is no, why we had this no, on here. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. So. That, okay, that was the second worst Prince Philip fanfic I found. <laughs> I yeah. don't know if I want to ask what the first one was. Oh, I, I mean, I'm still going to tell you, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Just so... Yeah. Like, and in fairness, yeah, because they're both, like, I don't know, more the married-in variety, they are, like, it's sort of that, like, that, that stepmom porn exception where it's like, well, they're not related... But uh, yeah, uh, no, the most upsetting one was this specific blogger who had like a particular Prince Philip fetish and Oof. wrote this extraordinarily graphic uh, piece, like, no, a, a whole bunch of pieces on, it was like self-insert royal family erotica where he was sucking off Prince Philip. And, no, no, yeah. <laughs> no, this can't exist. This can't exist. And I'm refusing to believe was, that it exists. Because this was still, like, you know how people write their fanfic for, like, existing sure. properties? So this was fanfic for The Crown, the TV show? No. Yeah, and the person took great pains to say, okay. like, okay, in this ship, you are not picturing handsome actor Matt Smith as Prince Philip. You are picturing real-life Prince no. Philip. No, they made clear of that part. They had to specify that. Part. They meant young Prince Philip, but it's much funnier if I just put up this picture. Was young Prince over Philip and hot? Over and over. Uh, you can look it up and decide for yourself. We should keep moving this discussion. We haven't even gotten to our erotica yet. You just drop a bomb like that on somebody and just think you can just walk away. From it. You. The thing is, sometimes, you know, our the people on this show, guests, hosts, GMs, mm-hmm. get upset about the stuff we read on it, but you can't even imagine. The stuff I read, just trying oh, to find sure stuff you, for it. That's I can't ever be mad because I know that you've forced yourself to endure any t- ten times as bad. This see, this one is kind of wholesome. This was like um, Queen Elizabeth is just really sad because Prince Philip got uh, captured by terrorists, and Whoa. then makes it back, and they talk about how they missed each other. But yeah, it was oh, quite the that's kind of nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that that's most of it. There's uh, there's a couple. There's two things from one author here and i thought because honestly i found really nothing for queen elizabeth like i i think i found one extremely ironic one like they knew what they were doing i'm like that's not fun they're just they're just doing bits they're doing a goof i need something sincere and 
there was yeah there's people are not sincerely horny for the queen but uh and this is appropriate because she is gone we do have to start making our king charles content so uh i found something called camilla fanfiction.tumblr.com oh oh no tumblr i see it's i know tumblr is notorious for fan fiction right it was never a tumblr yeah tumblr well like there's all these i i'm just kind of learning it um but i there was like 10 different websites that were like okay this is where people post their fanfics it doesn't feel like it has like one place gotcha so yeah the but this like tumblr i think has a uh a long history of like blogs that are obsessed with like one person and just posting a picture of them every day Mm -hmm. so this is that for camilla who is you all know by heart is uh the i think it was charles's girlfriend and then they broke up and then he married diana and then he like cheated on her with camilla and now they're now she's the queen consort i think it's the term i'm just upset that i know this to be honest well i'm just on the wikipedia page repeating the words after you to make it seem like i knew this sure i yeah. Yeah. heard all this yeah. from my mother who was furious about it yeah so, huh. so she cannot yeah. stand camilla because you know everyone knows like the other woman is the real villain in every infidelity situation oh i see i see i see i see the time so yeah there's i think this is a picture of her from the funeral um so again this blog is not entirely about fan fiction it's mostly just about like simping for royalty whoa so the this picture here was captioned so much beauty even in her pain okay okay so you know good for her we're uh okay. we're all about uh you know older women are sexy too get with it it's 2022 mm-hmm. so what i was because last time what we tried to do was get our guests to do the bulk of the reading uh you know because i think guests should you know be heavily involved Sure. And that kind of went funny because there was only a li- like all of the real juicy stuff was in the, the dialogue, which we did. But oh, this gotcha. thing is a lot more exposition heavy. So um, here's like a little mild. So I, I have two excerpts. Uh, one I called, uh, I think, like mild Camilla fanfic. And then the one that was severe Camilla. Fanfic. This is this is the same fanfic that has been produced. This is the same author, two different posts. Same author, two different posts. Wow. So I was thinking that I could voice Charles and Nicole could voice Camilla, and you can just narrate in whatever accent you want. Got it. So if you go back to the the Discord uh, sub-thread we have there. Love this. Now let's see if I can make this uh... bigger. Should I try to do like a British guy, you think? Or what do you what do you think the vibe is for I think you yeah, should do Western. what you want to do. Uh because you're the guest and we respect our guests. Gotcha. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Did you see where I put it? It is off. Uh yes. yeah, I found it. I'm also ready. I wish I had a good ha- wait, hold oh, on. This... I have a hat for this. One sec. I am choosing to use this hat that I'm already wearing. I feel like that's a narrator's hat, so. Yeah, I thought so. You're having trouble with this hat as well. It's, yeah, see, this is the problem with having giant headphones is I can't wear the amount of costumes that I generally find appropriate. Oh, that's it. Wow, look at that hat. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm going to try and do, like, I've been playing a lot of Bloodborne, so I think I can do, like, a an old British guy sort of deal. Just, uh, um, okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm, I'm born ready. Okay. Carefully, Charles placed a light, proud kiss on his wife's temple. Camilla startled, but smiled in her sleep. Good morning, beautiful. He whispered <laughs> quietly, smiling at his queen. Good morning. She murmured, half asleep. Time to get up already. Charles couldn't help but smile. How on earth could one human being be so adorable? Almost, <laughs> he, rep- he replied, stroking her tousled hair out of her face. Huddle time? Camilla asked innocently, a bit more awake now, and moved her body towards her husband. She savored those few private moments between them now more than ever. Cuddle time? 
Charles, Charles agreed with a soft yet throaty chuckle, wrapped his arms around his wife, making her feel safe. Will you? Oh, no. Oh, sorry, it's me. Will you be all right? Camilla heard her husband's gentle voice sounding from far away, though he was sitting right next to her. She had lost, <laughs> she'd been lost in her thoughts again, thinking about the day that lay before them. You haven't eaten anything, darling, Charles remarked thoughtfully, a hint of worry in his tone. Usually Camilla wasn't one to skip breakfast, or any meal that mattered, but she had a hard time eating the past few days. Cuddling with her husband had been good, so very good. It had given her comfort and strength, but she also felt like crying was the only reasonable thing to do, despite running away, maybe, when she thought of today's schedule, especially about those two bloody flights. She managed a crooked smile nonetheless and nodded. Nothing will stop me from having my morning sandwich. <laughs> she took a, she took an extra hearty bite from her Nutella sandwich, and Charles chuckled, crinkling his nose. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, no, it's you. <laughs> what? She replied, laughing, her eyes lighting up. That <laughs> no, was I, really that's, powerful. That's, that was quite yeah. awesome. Honestly, I just, I really like the idea of Charles just going, cut out of time. That, <laughs> I chose to ignore that, or I was, that is, I was editing that for the writer, just saying, nope, that didn't happen. Cuddle time. Oh, fair. Well, Cuddle I mean, time. maybe. Cuddle time. Uh... All right, let's see if this... Could you do... What is a soft yet throaty chuckle? Could you give me one of those? I don't know. remember if you did one. Yeah, I believe that was Camilla. Well, it was me? Was it? No, I think no, it, was it was you. It was no, Charles. Charles agreed with a soft yet throaty chuckle. Charles? When you say cuddle Charles, time. Charles, darling. Let me hear your throaty <laughs> chuckle. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was pretty... <laughs> oh, I hated that. Thank you. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. Proud of that. So here's a here's a text file from the severe or uh, can you just hit expand? Oh, this mm. one's a download. I love that. This is a download. It's I think work. if you download the whole <laughs> thing, it will work. Yeah, just download the whole thing. Just <laughs> obviously. Well, it was it was too long of a passage to screen cap. Computer. Oh, I got you. I got you. So, I just so yeah, I think this, that uh, one we just file and then... Ugh, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Oh, Jesus! This is so. This is... Poorly formatted. Yeah, I am putting this in some sort of. I mean, I can just give you the link and tell you where to start from. Oh no, that's okay. I'm going to. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. Oh, I got it. See what you do is you paste it in a Microsoft Word document, and it even breaks it up for you. Yeah, that was sort of my plan. Wow. I'm gonna say just wandering my eyes over it. Saw some words that I am not looking forward to reading. Yeah. Yep. Let's just okay. copy that again because I still have it highlighted. Listen, I I want you to know that I that if you look at the highlighting, no, you can't because it's still just on my computer. But I stopped short of the part where they used the phrase Camilla's wetness. Oh, we don't Christ, get to that. Dude, people cannot have made this. This can't be real. This has to be real though, but people made this. <laughs> I I I Why? honestly just felt like my sanity was slipping away as I tried to consider whether Why? It's a wonderful question, and I think we wonder this every time we read this stuff, and wow. we never come up with why. All right, so yeah, we, wow. there's like, I don't know, it's like two pages, so we can we'll we'll read until it becomes not funny. I don't know. Okay, I'm ready. Am I still the narrator? Or what's the? Yeah, I'm not ready. I need another beer for this. Uh, n name your. 10 favorite things about Camilla. Googling 10 favorite things. Um, to Buzzfeed top 10 Camilla facts. I would say my favorite, probably my top first favorite thing about Camilla is the way that she bites into her Nutella sandwiches. It's like just so oh, cute, you what know? What was that about? Why like so that... heartily. I don't really like Nutella as a matter of principle also. So like that's is not it the palm oil or is it the flavor? Wow, you got through all ten already. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Just on the, she's the oldest of three children. Mm -hmm. She was married to Prince Andrew from 1973 to 1995. Oh no. Well, I mean, at least she divorced him, I guess. Camilla loves dogs and has two Jack Russell Terriers named Beth and Bluebell. Mm -hmm. She's an avid fan of the outdoors and loves gardening. Your British accent, by the way, was. So what'd you think? Give me an honest, give me like it a really It really honest... lent a lot of gravitas to this 
reading. Wow. That's exactly it would have been very it would have just been silly and gross without that wonderful wonderful reading. I was going to say you could have na narrated a nature documentary but I mean you guess you oh kind God, of are. Yeah. That's that's like the some nicest thing anyone's ever said. Except then well, I do my Midwestern voice and everyone's like ugh. You're you're <laughs> about to uh I mean you could read this in like a thick Wisconsin or something but <laughs> Oh, oh hey Thick Wisconsin? Oh, I think some, I've watched that movie. Yeah. Hey. Disgusting. Somebody did some. I think they were reading. Is it a product? Or maybe, I think they were just like doing dirty talk in like a thick Wisconsinite accent. And they were like, oh, yeah, I want you to touch me down there. And it was really good. Such powerful stuff. But it is a kind of a nature documentary you're about to narrate because uh, Charles and Camilla are going to do it like they do in the Discovery Channel. I can't believe so. Just to be clear, somebody. I don't want to like shame people i suppose but like some creative energy was put to this mm -hmm. okay just i want to people say, say that, that about this show all the time so okay. i really can't like you know, glass <laughs> houses here let me try let me try for a british accent okay camilla couldn't help it if she might okay <laughs> <laughs> Let's do uh Okay, I'm gonna. I, the only one I can do is like the creepy Christopher Hitchens. No, the one you were doing was good. I think that accent okay. you just tried to do is what uh, is what. Oh, Nicole Jiminy Christmas, Camilla. Uh, Camilla could... uh, okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, um, good lord! No. Camilla couldn't help it. She moaned and inhaled sharply. Charles knew exactly where and how to touch her. Ugh. All right, all right. She breathed, but Charles did not allow her to calm down. His fingertips slipped under the thin satin of a vin Venus, Venus? Nighty. Charles could see her nipples began to show more and more. With ease, he traced the small circles along the inner sides of her thighs and pushed the hemline up. Charles knew she... <laughs> Not knickers beneath the nighty. The sight of her exposed... <laughs> <laughs> Just take a little run at that sentence. It's fine. <laughs> Framed by the... Okay, I don't even know where... Okay. However, Camille tried to stay strong. Don't you want breakfast? She asked. You'll be hungry during your, your engagements, otherwise it really sounds like she's trying to, like, not sleep with him right now. Don't you want breakfast? I, I, I noticed you used that pause to kind of skip over the phrase, the brown curls down there, but that's oh, fair. Oh, did it's I miss that? Over. Did I miss... <laughs> I don't know. Let's, we got we to gotta play our game here, so let's just try to get through this. Oh, I am very hungry. Charles chuckled and bent down to Camilla's woman, who had placed a kiss right in the middle of it. Camilla, Camilla winced in pleasure. With her hands, she pushed Charles away, or tried it, after all. Ve vehemently, Charles placed another kiss on exactly the same spot. I don't she think this another... person knows what wincing is. I, I love to be kissed vehemently. Famously, uh, uh, an emotion associated with, or a, a verb associated with pleasure is wincing. Mm -hmm. Grimacing, you know. Uh, she took another attempt to push her husband away, but obviously she had to speak to make it clear, which wasn't all that easy with Charles caressing her there. That was... what? Okay. Stop, please. She begged Good her Lord, and pushed hey. him away. But I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, you can do this. We're, we're like halfway done. Charles, Charles looked at it with a bright blue poppy eyes and you... And you said you had made breakfast for me. He paused. And that is certainly the most delicious thing in the world. Camilla's lips formed a small smile, but she moved away from him anyway. I thought it was your birthday, not mine. And despite, that won't sate you. She kissed him on the lips. First comes work, then pleasure. She laughed <laughs> cheekily. I have always preferred pleasure over work, and even more so on my birthday. Charles objected and kissed her back, his hands on her shoulders, pushing aside the thin straps of her nighty and gliding his fingers along the outlines of her collar. Well, that's new to me. <laughs> she retorted, but knew she probably wouldn't be able to refuse, given that some, I accidentally slipped into, like, pirate. <laughs> Tell him what he wanted, especially on his birthday, and even more, it was something she enjoyed a lot, too. Almost shy, her hands wandered down to Charles Small of the back and pushed up the blue cotton shirt to his shoulders and pulled it over his head. 
As usual, the thing is burnt <laughs> like fire and tribal skin. His soft kisses on his neck made it impossible to catch even a single clear thought. And the kisses on his chest and stomach made him forget <laughs> everything around. With a wink of an eye, Charles had forgotten what he'd been hungry for. Having his eyes closed, he tussled through Camilla's hair, always amazed by the softness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss after kiss landed on Charles Abraham. <laughs> Sorry, we just, I, people hadn't had a chance to picture oh, Charles no. yet. So picture Charles like this as you're imagining kiss under kiss landing, as, kiss oh. after kiss landing on his upper body. Oh this, no! This is doing something for someone, which I respect, but yeah. it is so alien mm-hmm. to me. What is it? Profoundly. Sorry. Uh, we're we're close to the best part. Let's just push through it. Okay. Uh, kiss after kiss, landed on Charles of uh, From his cheeks, she kissed her way to ear to ear and kissed him on his left ear lobe. I love you, my darling. She purred, and Charles opened his eyes again to look at her. Her gaze <laughs> shivered through his body. Okay. She found him beautiful and attractive. The 66 hadn't changed anything. Years. Charles had known it, of course, but he was a fan of reassurance, always had been. My precious. Charles whispered and scratched the back of her head, beaming with bliss. <laughs> I do love you so. Carefully, he pushed her down for him to kiss deeper and more passionate than before. He sucked on her lower lips and permitted a tongue entrance. Oh, <laughs> she Sorry, her lower lips? Invited Charles' tongue for romantic tango, and now Charles' hands began to roam over Camilla's back down to her bottom, began to knead her butt cheeks before he pushed her knife, <laughs> slipping into the ground <laughs> and still forever he loved every inch, every gram, every scar, every liver spot and every wrinkle. Carefully but with greed he turned on her back and resist, couldn't resist grabbing her Boobs. You can't say boobs in <laughs> right. It's such this. a tonal shift. It That's, just completely you takes cannot a put there. boobs there. This, I feel like the quality of the actual writing really decreases as it gets more like salacious. That's usually true. Um, yeah. Everly began to massage them first softly, then with more pressure near the area. He came to the areola with caution. He rubbed her sensitive nipples between his. Can't say ni- nipples. <laughs> So he thumb and index finger, pulling them gently. As you do. Her mm-hmm. legs between them to suck on her nipples. Every oh, 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 oh. was a present to Charles, no matter what present she'd give him. A love, nearness, a perfect body, where everything Charles wished for. Now I sound like a British baking lady. <laughs> no, that was good. You were getting into John Lennon there. He said, hey, hey, man, you could spend ages nibbling at her nipples. <laughs> <laughs> And parts of the body you wanted to taste, so he further down to her stomach, then to her legs and feet, finally found the place where his mana came from. Greedy, he nudged her nevers, popped them with his tongue, eager to get everything from the sweet juice she offered. That was horrible. Thank you. (laughs) Don't say thank you. You don't have to do that. Wow. Just know that the next two paragraphs just are so much worse. It's really something when you when you have to read a long text, but you're trying to do the same accent to just not slide into like. I really kind of wanted to start from the beginning in that John Lennon one because it's so good. Hey, I, I should have led with that initially because I feel like that's my most powerful. Yeah. Hey, John. Or Ringo, whatever. <laughs> hey, John. We're just gonna go down on the Queen Consort. <laughs> you can't do this. I, can't, I get being obsessed with the. Well, I don't get being obsessed with the Royals, but. This is profoundly unwell. You can't do this. I guess you can. I can't. You, you don't want to. They just people. did, and we just, just did. did. So you know, the best thing you could say about other people's things is you just say, "It's not for me." You know. That's and true. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this specific brand of erotica, glorifying the royals, it's not for me. That's, that's you know fair. what, and that's a brave stance, but it's important to take it. Thank you. Well, I think that's enough of that for today. Yeah, I would like to take a quick break to go and puke a little bit. Oh, yeah. Do you need it at the interpissing button? 
Yeah, I'm hitting the intermission button. So yeah, I'll do like a couple minutes of an intermission if you need to take a leak. That would be nice if you probably have to piss. I have a bucket here, but you know. <laughs> well, I appreciate you becoming coming prepared, but we will let you pee in the toilet, so. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll see you in a couple minutes. Well, while we wait for our guests to return, I'm going to make an apology to our future sponsor, Old Milwaukee, because once again, I forgot to stock the fridge with official beer of the program Old Milwaukee, and now I'm drinking uh, actual Canadian brand Moosehead. But I did remember that I have this thing in my basement. There we go. So, like, once they sponsor us, I think we're in business. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you already got the merch? Yeah, like, that could be the table drapery. You know? Oh, that's Mm -hmm. nice. I need a big tapestry or flag of some kind. Oh, man. Tapestries are so... I want to tap that. Why is this text file still on my computer? It's like it's copying itself into... Just put a setting itself as my background. Listen, you don't have to be quiet about it. After the show, I can send you the link to the full thing. (laughs) How much long... Like, how much content was, was that? It was, you know, was that like... 100 pages long or what was the uh i think i copied about like the middle half of that post but they have like 100 posts i just feel like there are better creative things no i don't know yeah i'm not not gonna shame again giving where you're sitting right now glass houses because very true at least they're creating something we're just reading something somebody else worked hard on and maybe they you know maybe they did work really hard on it all i can say it's not for me uh, um, yeah, so, okay, let's, uh, let's introduce our GM. Oh, okay, yep, uh, here comes the GM. Oh, you've got Shit, the GM. Shit, I forgot I have to flip the fit, flip the damn switch twice. If you run a slightly more user-friendly streaming platform, hit us up. Oh, wait, hold on, actually, let's do this. Who could our GM be? Oh, it's shit. Me. Hi. I was going to say, I was pretty sure it was you, but I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> but I wasn't um, right. Yeah, it's me. Um, also, does... Um, Kelly, are you aware that there's someone else in the stream thing on the what, side? What, the se- secret man? Yes. No, that's just so I can have the actual video feed full screen on one monitor. Oh, and okay. And I can have the chat like on the other monitor again if you uh or a friend is the proprietor or like developer of a affordable online streaming platform for multiple participants that isn't frustrating boy howdy please uh please message us so you're like two people right now yeah we lost 50 percent of our audience doing that as normal Mm -hmm. oh we'd lost them beforehand oh there we go we just lost the other 50 percent hell yeah (laughs) um yeah. Okay. So let's hop into the game here then. Please. This is my f- only my second time GMing ever, and my first time GMing on the show. So please bear with me. Um, if you know that I've done something wrong, um, just shut up and don't worry about it. Yeah, I have never, I have never damned. Okay. GM. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. So I actually think. Um. Rather than getting you guys to introduce yourselves, unless you guys really want to introduce yourselves, I could just get, no. like, you guys can just introduce yourselves to each other sure. in the, once the game starts. And we can yeah, slowly find things good. about you. Is that cool? Yeah, I just uh, realized I need to open up my character sheet here, so. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I managed to somehow lose it. Uh, do you want to do you, you want to kind of just roll up with your intro here or? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, actually, now that I've got this, I'm gonna duplicate this tab so I can have both your character sheets open at once. So, um, the setting is okay. There we go. Um, so picture this: you are at a wedding. Um, this is not thematic at all to the weekend that I just had, and is definitely not lazy writing. Um, you are 
Uh, it's just after a wedding. It's about <clears throat> 3 a.m. You're in a hotel ballroom with uh, five other people. Um, one is the groom, Craig. He's uh, in the corner on his cell phone talking animatedly to someone. Uh, the hotel manager, Pat, is talking to a plumber near the door, shaking his head. Um, the bride, Laura, is standing near the stage, and she is glaring at both of you. And then the other person in the room is um, both of you. So there's six people total. Um, the rest of the guests have left, but you've been told that you're not allowed to leave until things get sorted out. Uh, so, um, essentially, there's been some damages. Um, weddings get kind of rowdy. Um, so you are not being allowed to leave because you are suspected of partaking in some of the damages or um, encouraging them. Um, so, <laughs> um, essentially, um, what you're going to try to do is, um, keep the damages that you are um, responsible for under wraps, um, and find out what other damages have been done and who you can blame it on so that you don't have to pay anything. Um, so you notice three things amiss. Um, one, there's water leaking out from under the bath bathroom doors near the back of the room. Um, two, there's a series of what appears to be muddy footprints tracked from one end of the room to the other. And three, the wedding cake has been knocked off of the stand and thrown, ag thrown against the walls. So there is like pink frosting everywhere. Um, and so, um, yeah, the, uh, manager is trying to figure out, the manager, the bride, and the groom are going to try and figure out which of you is responsible, um, and go. Okay, so just, just to recap, uh, yep. because my computer just exploded trying to open my character sheet, which is a bad omen. So we have we have woken up in uh, it's three a.m. Yes, the Rob Thomas. We've woken song. up exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're well, but we're not lonely if we're here with each other, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. Technically true. Okay, so it's it's three a.m. and mm -hmm. we've awoken in a hotel room together. Um. Well, you haven't awoken, and it's not a hotel room. It is a hotel ballroom. It is after oh, a wedding. Right, ballroom room. You guys are okay. very familiar, mostly familiar with what's going on. You guys have been drinking, so it's like you know, things are kind of fuzzy. Um. So in the hotel or in the ballroom is the groom in the corner talking on his cell phone. Yeah. Um. The manager talking to a plumber. Yeah. The um bride who is just glaring at you guys. Um. Yeah. And then the two of you. Um. So one of you is a um vaguely human shaped person yeah. question mark I'm um, guy. wearing yeah. a soggy brown tie um yeah. and bifocals yeah <laughs> um and whose name is christopher yes that's thank you uh-huh um and then uh the other is um a an aunt named susan um mm -hmm. It's who nice. um you would just describe as Hagrid. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh you be, okay, I gotcha. Hagrid like the not the Harry Potter, Hagrid like like bedraggled. Yeah, yeah. extremely gotcha. bedraggled. Extremely bedra you're bedraggled. Okay. Uh hi, hi, my name is um Christopher. And do you know what's got going on here with the Oh Christopher, do I am I <laughs> do I know not know you? Are we uh sorry, it's been a long day at three AM. Can you tell me what your relation to the 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 bride and groom is ah uh, um, yes one of kelly's four voices that he does I no it's the same character them. is it yeah it's oh. aunt susan this is why i said that oh. the the groom should be named craig because that would be nephew craig your character oh it's canonically uh, you're the your aunt you're the canonical aunt lore so you've, you've got aunt lore yeah i've decided mm -hmm. this is a continuation of uh gotcha. of a recent game we did in which uh aunt susan and nephew craig made an appearance so you're, you're filling out like the extended ant universe i love it well i mean that's up to the gm but i i have to okay so i need to do you know anything what's going on with the we can discuss here we, we can rack our brains here to know what's going on with the why are they not letting us leave here you know what i'm gonna be honest with you it's been a long day i came here on the red eye flight and yeah. i uh i i i forgot my prescription at home 
and I got my uh, my friend's prescription in town. It's a totally different uh, medication, so I'm not sure what I'm on, but it's it's made me a bit loopy, and the wine hasn't helped. You know how it is when uh, when I go up to the Toonie bar. Wait, uh, wait. Do you know what a Toonie bar is? Where you watch cartoons? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so well, so funny you should say Looney. So in, I'll give you some Canadian lore here. Um, in Canada, we have a, a one dollar coin. It's called a Looney because it has a loon, a picture of a loon yeah. on it. Um, it. And then the next one up has it is a two dollar coin, and it's called a Toonie. Um, so a Toonie bar. Okay. Toonie bar would be like if someone was having a wedding, they would have a Toonie bar that so like each drink is worth two dollars. Gotcha. Yeah, so gotcha. it's like a cheap, cheap drinks, so that you can get your guests nice and hammered, so they have a good time. That's a nice thing to have at a wedding. I love. I've been drinking a lot of uh, human alcohol as well. It and, is uh, a nice thing to have at a wedding, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's Wait, a nice leader. Yeah. It gets people in the door. It gets people in the door, and you know, um, the best part about social is being social with other people and, and human beings. Is it seems drinking alcohol and talking to each other. Just what I've learned to do very well. I mean, what I've always done very well. <laughs> I am, my name's Christopher. Right. So wait, I have a question for you, Nicole. Is this wedding canonically in Canada? Did I fuck up? Because I mean, my character is clearly like from the northeastern United States. So you know what? We're creating Canada as we go. So yes, it is now canonically mm -hmm. in Canada. All right. Well, I did say I flew in from out of town, so I came in. Canada. Uh, yeah, I'm just from Vermont. From <laughs> yeah, we're from Vermont. Uh, but okay, can we discuss? who did this i didn't have anything to do with either of these things for sure for absolutely not i don't think um yeah you're referring to the cake that's been knocked over and the footprints everywhere uh, yes no i'm a very clean person i i i'm not a psycho like all these other americans wear their shoes inside i don't like it so i i'm known as the well, they call it you know japanese style where i live which i think is very offensive because there's an entire country there's, it's mostly just Americans that wear their shoes inside. It's <laughs> kind of fucked up in my opinion, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't do something like that. Is that not normal <laughs> behavior for, for like a person or human to walk around with, um, with, with shoes? In no, the it's indoors? horrible. Discovering okay. taking your shoes off in your own home. It's like discovering okay. using a bidet. You're just like, holy shit, how does anybody live this unhygienically? Okay, God, gonna, have I'm you gonna... smelled your own feet? Just take your damn <laughs> shoes off. You got it's it's your, your house is carpeted. You're on the couch putting your shoes on the damn couch. Jesus, sorry, I get worked anything, up with the you? wine and whatever this medication is. Okay, I should. I'm gonna go ahead and take my shoes off, um, just because I feel like I do. I feel like I've been called out a little bit. <laughs> um, I mean, we're in a hotel ballroom. I, I guess it's a little different. Most people wear shoes true, in a hotel ballroom. <laughs> These are my shoes. In fact, shoes the floor too. is sticky. I'm going to put my shoes back on. It's got that post wedding slayer of sludge, filth, stickiness. Oh, I like sludge, it. Sludge, how thematic. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's slime. Um, but okay, so we. <laughs> I didn't do it. You didn't do it. Yeah, who else is in this room again? We got a manager we could talk to. Can we talk to the manager when we can get out of here? Yeah, let's go if talk could, to like, Oh, I'd love to speak to the manager. Let's do could it. Could you kind of drag me, like, could you kind of grab my arm and kind of drag me like you would, like, a large piece of, like, just, like, I'm, I'm kind of slow. Could you kind of, like, help me get over there? I'm uh, kind of <laughs> gesturing a, a loose and kind of wet appendage at you in my suit. Oh, sure, sure. I do have mobility issues. You know, I'm not very okay. informed on these things, but I am trying to be an ally. <laughs> Okay, thank As you. has been canonically established. I like it. It's very <laughs> nice. It's very fortunate. I just have a lot of issues with uh, physical space. Oh, okay. But you, you're you letting me into your space to lead you by the sloppy you're gonna, wet You're arm? going to have to, and I'm sorry I am a bit. There's a lot of... Uh, there might be some, some wetness on my arm and some like kind you of You know what? Sliminess. Everybody says this. I'm shockingly comfortable with these things. It makes you wonder okay. a lot. Anyway, so I want to I want to take his arm and just kind of like lead him wherever he wants to go. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Um should we let's actually let's do a roll for that. Yeah. Um let's roll for Oh god. Can you flip the dice cam on because like is my video feed fucked up and choppy or is it normal? Uh 
it's been looking normal to me. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's sorry. just my computer that I'm is just, just being to... insane. Yeah. Okay. No, you look great. Sorry, I hacked up. I need to pull up the sheet so that I can see the things that we can roll. Uh, dexterity? Is there a dexterity roll? It sounds like a dexterity roll, I think. Knowing oh. nothing about... Um, uh, I don't think that's one of our things. Uh, I guess that um, would be like... Sorry, I'm looking for the list agility. of things. I mean, yeah. I'm bad at... I'm neutral on agility and I'm bad at speed and strength, so... Okay, great. You tell me this what is... that is. You should help. Yeah, you guys are running at like one frame per second for me, but as long as the feed is That's good. just how I move. That's just how my body moves. Okay, here we go. Um, Agility, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Roll for agility there. Okay, so this is normal, Ant so I'm season. just going to roll one set of dice. Snake eyes. Are they both in? Uh, what? That's not what snake eyes are. Okay, I was like, <laughs> man, the camera's really fucked up. I think I just don't know okay. what that is. And then you don't have any modifiers for that, right? You're good. Yeah, so that's just normal. I guess I didn't okay. give you, like, a roll table. I think, I don't know, I think the system we were doing is, like... Six is, like, a success, but with a consequence. Oh, yeah, you've got that in front of you? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just guessing because it's a middle-ish number. Um... So yeah, you're able to sort of pull Christopher with you, but like you notice like your hand kind of like squishes like into what you would think would be the flesh of the arm. Um, and you like, you can feel like, like maybe like larva or something like crawling over you and like your hand kind of, the tips of your fingers just kind of like disappear for a second. Um, but you're kind of pulling along. Um, and as you're pulling him, you notice there's like, he's leaving a bit of a like a trail of like maybe like oh a snail trail greenish sludge yeah sure yeah um so but you you do you do end up pulling over to the manager but um you you've left left a little bit of them on the floor um and you do have now squishy thank you ness on your hands like has this injured him or this is just normal oh i'm I'm okay okay feels, i mean um, that was fine right yeah totally well, fine. I, I feel like as established i'm shockingly comfortable with this kind of thing so i just kind of roll with it and i'm like host oh, Son, you must be Noivus. You're all just kind of, you're all sorry, over the sorry, place. Ha, ha. And I just like pat him uh, condescendingly on the back. Or, no, not condescendingly, <laughs> hyper, but patronizingly. Or whatever. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm a bit Hyperhidrosis. Oh, you and yes. your big words. You must be the one that went to grad school. I have some issues with, with, with sloughing, things sloughing off of me, which is a normal thing to have um, issues sure. with. Sure. Slime. Um, these are normal slimes to be having. Yeah. So. Sure. <laughs> um okay so uh you guys are gonna talk to the manager are you gonna please i think we should right what do you i okay. mean i feel like the manager's who's in charge of letting us out of here we're not allowed to leave until we figure out what who did who done this mm. okay so what do you guys want to say to the manager um hello uh, can i speak to the manager um yes hello i'm the manager my name is pat uh, Pat, oh, I, you know what? I has a cousin named Pat. She got the gout and then she died. Uh, yes, that's actually my uh, sister. Pat um, also died of gout. Um, might be the same person, but regardless. Um, I was actually just talking to our plumber Mario over here, um, who was uh, talking about the running water situation in the bathroom. Um, did he, did do you he say what happened with that? Or what's going on? Or like who might have done something like that? Uh, no, he actually, he, he can't quite get, um, okay. um, he hasn't quite got to the bottom of it yet. Um, they've, uh, they tried to rinse it out, rinse out the sinks, but they think they need some instant plumber. There seems oh, to be geez. some sort of gunk in there. The gunk. Gunking up the sink, yeah. <laughs> so Instant I, plumber, I, you got a plumber right there named Mario. Why just ask him? When you say gunk, you mean like a viscous... Like, you don't mean, like, a viscous, like a like a slime or anything, right? Yeah, there's at least ten types of gunk. I can name them like, if you want. <laughs> so. Yes, please. Would you? Yeah, oh, I wouldn't want to eat up a lot. I wouldn't want to eat up your time. You have a lot of important things to do. Ah, uh, yes, I actually, uh, I need to be uh, leaving here in about 27 minutes, so if we could get along here, that'd what's, be great. What a specific in, uh, number. Yeah, 27. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, so I've just been talking to Mario, and he said, yes, every, every sink, drain, and toilet has been clogged, um, with this gunk. 
Um, so oh, it's going to be, it's a real mess. Um, we're going to have to sort it out, and the the plumbing bill is going to be extremely high. And I don't know why I'm suddenly it. British, by the way. Oh I no, just... that's so a real think, shame. You think the source of the problem is in the bathroom? Oh well, certainly the source of one of the problems, as you can see, there there are several problems in the room here. That um, is that where the footprints are leading from? Is the bathroom? No, actually, it's uh, that one's a bit of a mystery. They seem to be leading. Um, from the dance floor, and then all sorts of, in all sorts of different circles. Um, yes, not entirely sure where it originated, it's hard to tell, um, but it, it walked back and forth across the floor several times. Um, whatever, whoever, whoever tracked that. Uh, if, if I could just look at everyone's shoes real quick and just see kind of, can I do like a virg 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 virtual assessment of like people's shoes in the room? Um, yeah, let's, uh... Do a roll here. I'm just trying to see something. Okay. See did here. you did you bring dice? Did I mention that? Oh, I have a I have on my phone app. I have a dice rolling thing I can use. Yeah, sure. We can also roll yeah. on the camera here if you want. So oh, you just know. roll on the camera. That's way more satisfying. All right. Yeah. So is this okay, something in... you're good or bad at, or just normal? Um. Yes. Uh. Perception. They have a is a weak or is a strength. Yes. A strength. Or... Okay. So we're gonna roll two sets of dice. There's white and red, and you're gonna get the worst one. Okay. Okay, sorry, all... actually, I want to say you, you can only check one person's shoes at a time. So whose shoes are you going to check first? One yeah. at a time. Okay, I'm going to check... Um, I'm going to check Aunt Susan's shoes. Right. Mine? You would suspect me of whatever it is? I'm just trying to be sure about every... I'm, I'm, listen, I'm doing these one at a time, and you're kind of the first person. Okay, so this is a... You got a six? Yes. Okay, so... um. You can tell that there's like a little bit of mud on her shoes, but um, you it's hard to tell if it's from walking across the floor, which is covered with this brownish um, kind of muck. Um, you do also kind of perceive that there's like a bit of a smell coming from the muck. Um, yeah. Or from the what appears to be mud. It's mud um, stuff. It smells smells bad. Yeah, it's not not great. Um, okay. Interesting. But uh, yeah, you, you can't really tell mm. what it is. Okay. Yeah. Am I able to do some kind of like smell check or taste test on <laughs> the mud on the ground? <laughs> you sure can. I feel like I want to start with a smell check. Okay. And, and you see how have that a... goes. Okay, you have a perception bonus. Sure. Do so... I? Yeah. Okay. Very perceptive. So you want me to roll that? Mm-hmm. And you're smelling. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so my good number there is five. Um, okay, so you sniff it. Um, you can you yeah, you can also just smell okay, that smells kinda of bad, but you can't can't you still can't tell what it is. Oh boy, there's no way of telling and I try to make sure no one's looking and I do a quick like pinky dip taste test. <sighs> okay, uh roll again. Is it just perception again? Yes. Wait, this is something I'm good at? Yes. God, you think? Okay. Okay, so I got an eight for a good one there. <laughs> okay, you taste it and you immediately realize that is human shit. Human. You... you can tell that you can tell it's species, Steven. Yeah. Oh boy, this smells like human feces. Definitely a <laughs> smelling kind of situation. Okay. okay. I'm actually interested. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in that. Um, human feces. Mm -hmm. Human feces. Who? Human feces. I have looked at in Susan's shoes here, but I haven't made any particular sense. But can I look at? Can I look at the manager's shoes? Um. Yep. Yeah, you can do that. All right. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna make more. Is there any way I can trace the path of the footprints? Like, um, or is it just un unintelligible? Is there it's 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 pretty tough. It's um. Okay. Yeah. It's hard to tell at this point. Um. It's been it's been kind of tracked all over and. Gotcha. To be honest, there's probably going to be a little bit on everyone's shoes. Oh, okay, um, so maybe it's not but... worth it even checking that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, up to you, though. You might be able to... Maybe there's a clue, but... Um... Interesting. And the cake has been destroyed as well. Yes. Yes, it has. Okay. Can I do a further inspection on the cake? Or is that far away from me right now? Uh, no, you can go and check out the cake. Okay, I'm going to check out the cake, and I'd like to probe into it with my appendages. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, can you roll a perception? Um, or Kelly, can you roll a perception I, I for our guest? Two. Okay. 
perception. So I get two dice for this, right? Uh, yeah, you can roll. Yeah, you can roll four. You or sorry, you roll four dice or two yeah. dice twice, and then you take the better of the two rolls. Okay. Badoosh. Oh, that's not good. That's a two. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I got an eleven. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, Nailed it. I hope. Okay, so two. Okay, so um, yeah, Kelly's just sent me the oh, actual actually, breakdowns great, of whether or not you get success. success. Yeah. Um, yes. Cool. So you got an eleven. Yes. So eleven is That's pretty cool. fucking good. So you look at the cake. In uh, first of all, you can tell that it is red velvet with cream cheese frosting. Um, you can tell that it was very tasty, okay. um, but that no one got to try it because. Um, so you can tell that someone in a blur of rage came in and shoved it over. Um, and it splattered onto the ground and then they threw it against the walls. So you can tell yeah. that this has been a an act of intentional cake violence. I've done cake spatter analysis is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I've concluded mm -hmm. at this stage mm -hmm. that it seems like there was a, this is a crime of passion. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So someone who did this likely has some cake on, on them as well, right? With yes, cake. correct. Hmm. Okay, so while, while he's starting out that mystery, um, I, I declare, oh, I, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick just to get the smell off me. And I'm going to go like run my mouth under the tap to get the taste out of my mouth. So whatever he okay. does next, I won't be able to hear over the tap. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, who else do we have in the room here besides the manager? Um, so we have the um, groom, Craig, who is oh, in the gosh, corner yelling into a phone. Um, and then the uh, manager and the plumber, and then the wife, who is just uh, looking very angry and glaring at you guys. Um, I think I'd like to talk to the wife. The wife? Okay. Uh, um, am I able okay. to just kind of mosey over to her? Uh, yeah. She just looks pissed. Maybe she knows something more about this. Okay. I do, do you want to make it noted that um, Aunt Susan, when she goes to go into the washroom, um, she just is like hit by like a flood of water. It's just oh, yeah. like there's just it's it's like the doors are surprisingly well sealed like they are leaking a little bit at the bottom <laughs> but like as soon as she opens it like a wave <laughs> a wave of, door yeah a wave of water just like my gosh it's like that scene from titanic where they're still like playing their instruments and then like the thing turns sideways and they all like fall into the water is that a thing i know um, you're right. i'm not sure why they did that but yes i remember that hmm um yeah so yeah aunt susan is like is she okay watch... uh aunt susan i've not been okay a... for a long time okay do you want to roll something to see if you're okay oh, okay like what am i rolling um you're gonna roll um i don't know i guess strength resilience oh i'm bad resilience. at that aren't i resilience yeah wait, um, resilience i'm good at yeah okay. you're good at resilience yeah hell yeah we're going with resilience then Okay. Wait, I can't I see that. I believe that's a 12. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, sorry. My wor oh, my good one. My good one is a 12. Okay, sweet. So then you, um, the wave hits you, but um, as it hits you, you realize what's going on and you, I guess it's, I guess it's resilience and not like agility mm -hmm. or anything. Um, oh, yeah, so yeah I'm, I guess I'm not agile, I don't think. I just, I just <laughs> okay. You know, I just you somehow just the brunt keep of this. surviving yes. despite all the random changes in my medication and all the <laughs> the drinking and the, you know, the just the general conflict in which I live my life, I think. Right. Made you stronger, right. really. All of those things combined, like Mr. Yeah. Burns' immune system, yeah. 100%. Yes, that's <laughs> yeah. me, but with also, like, that's also me with my Boost. mental health. So sure. there's like this like bipolar and depression and anxiety and like schizophrenia and they're all just crammed in the doorway trying to get through. But the, you're fine from being hit by the plumbing wave. Yeah. Absolutely. You, yeah. It Excellent. like smashes That's you into the floor and you also get hit by like, um, like also like probably a face full of sludge as well. Um, sure. It hits you like full on in the gullet and you like accidentally swallow some, um, but you're surprisingly okay. And you're like, that was actually pretty tasty. You know, I've had worse sludge, if we're being honest. <laughs> Always good to hear. It's mm. not the worst sludge I've ever tasted. I'm over that. I'm, I'm nodding approvingly that she's... That was so much sludge. Okay. It was a real sludge fest. Hey. Dot .substack .com. That's, that's meta. That's breaking the fourth wall. It's like Ready Player One. 
It's just good promotion. It's good branding, movie. sweetie. Um. Uh, what am I looking? Was I heading towards the wife? Yes, you're heading towards okay. the bride. Um. I guess they're not what, married. And we, yeah. Okay. Um. Oops. Um. So yeah. So what would you like to say to the bride? Um. Are you mad at us? Well, I can't say I'm very impressed. Um. My wedding's been ruined. Um. I. Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to bring up the character sheet again. My wedding's been ruined. My mm -hmm. cake has been destroyed. Clearly, mm -hmm. I my, the bathrooms have been destroyed, and um, someone's tracked what I believe is human feces all over the yeah. floor. So it does seem someone's, human feces. Yeah. Someone's going to pay this bill, and it's not going to be me. Interesting. Okay, and you think we had something to do with it, maybe, or at least maybe, I maybe I, yeah, Susan. I don't. I can't. I can only speak for myself. I just. I don't know. I, well, I have a suspicion. You, you, you two are probably the sketchiest looking people at this party. So, well, yeah, I, uh, um, That's, you know what? Little... It's very unfair that people th just because someone looks haggard, people think they look sketchy, and I, I think that's a re very stereotyped opinion. I agree. I as a, I know I might look like a big writhing mass of like um, algae or, or litter or, or gunk, but I'm actually a person. Listen, um, Christopher, you were only here because Craig invited you. I okay. tried to tell him not to, so oh, okay. I don't even we're know why you're there. here. Okay. And Susan, wow. we've been asking you to stop coming to family events for years. You always cause a disturbance. You always piss somebody off. I don't even know how you found out that we were having our wedding here. Well, through the grapevine, of course. How else vibes. would I find out? I got listen. I'm... I got my hands on an invitation. That's all you need to know. <laughs> to be clear, I, I did not come with her to either. So maybe you'd, I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily have to be lumped in with whatever Aunt Susan. No offense, to Aunt Susan. But... This, are you telling me I can't come to weddings just because just because I got divorced from your uh, from your new husband's uncle? Yes, absolutely. That's exactly what Well, you know what? what? I'm Catholic, so I don't believe in divorce. So does it really count? That's, yeah, uh, uh, lawyer. I, mean, I was the... invited, too, to be clear. I was invited. Yeah, no, I'm aware you were invited. And I have an invitation that Is... I received. <laughs> I obtained. So, <laughs> so we're really, we're in the same kind of boat here. Boat? Listen, I... possessions, I didn't really think about my inventory. What can I use here? See, I have a... Right, I have a Kevlar vest, which I is, I'm <laughs> imagining. Well, okay, so as you know, Aunt Susan has made a handful of enemies in her lifetime. Mm -hmm. And Presumably, so, you know, yeah. she's she's kind of got that, like, smart, like, Murphy Brown, big padded shoulders pantsuit on, is what I'm imagining. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. wears a Kevlar yes. vest under that. I know exactly uh, what you mean. Oh, and I have a lock picking set. Are there any lock doors <laughs> that I see? Um, there's a lock, I guess you could unpick the bathroom lock and lock the doors, or you could try and escape through the ballroom doors. Those so are the like only two escape, locks but in the we room. don't solve the mystery, do I win? Like, is that... Legally. Um, I, I'm going to guess that if you try to pick those locks, there will be a security guard on the other side of the door. Oh, shoot. Um. Oh, shoot. So the staff have locked us in, right? That's right. Or the, yes. the bride. Or at the behest of the bride. Um, yes. at the, I think at the behest of the bride and groom. Yes. Right. I, are we being detained? Yes. Yeah. Are we okay. being detained? <laughs> yes. I point being... to the I point to the fringe on the flag up on the wall, and I'm yeah. like, "This is an admiralty hotel ballroom." Um, I'm I'm not convinced. Of your the laws don't. I do not this, consent but... to your laws. You I... yeah. You may or may not be being illegally detained. Detained, right. but uh, detained. based on the 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 groom, the bride and groom. Well, the the bride specifically was right. Um, talked to the manager, and, and the manager looking at the state of the ballroom was like, "Yeah, somebody's got to fucking pay for this." So oh, I mean, rest I'm sure willing to hearing from my from my lawyers at least. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah, and Susan tries to call her lawyer right now. Wait, it's, do yeah. you have do you have a cell phone in your inventory? Uh no, I do not have a cell phone in my inventory. Oh, suck it then. <gasps> Lock picking. No, did they take? <laughs> Where's my cell phone? The manager has a cell phone. And Christopher, do you have my cell phone? Uh, I do the not The manager have a cell does phone. not have a cell phone. The groom has a cell phone. I'm off oh, grid. Oh, uh, is, is the groom in the room? Yeah, he's in the corner talking on his cell phone angrily. Okay, I go up to Nephew Craig. Nephew Craig, it's me, Aunt Susan. Oh, I missed you so much. And I go get him a kiss on the cheek. 
Okay, so from the other side of Greg's phone, you hear um, a voice that you recognize on the outside just screaming, Is that Susan there? I can't believe you're still talking to her. You know that I hate that woman. How dare you? Oh, boy. Oh, Craigie, who's there? Uh, it's Grandma Gertie, Aunt Susan. Um, honestly, I don't even know why you're here. Um, Grandma Gertie, listen, I don't even know why you're, why you're talking to her. She snubbed your wedding. She didn't even show up. It seems real rude. Gertie says, excuse me? And I, I reach over go. and I want to press hang up on the phone. Okay, yeah. you're going to have to roll for that. To check for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to roll, let's say, speed. Would you have said agility if you didn't know I was bad at speed? Um, maybe. Okay, well, I got a three. Okay, so you do not get to press hang up on the phone. You, um, you, s you go to reach for it and you slip in the water and sludge and, like, human feces that's on and cake that's on the floor and you fucking yep. fall flat on your face. Mm. And you hear Aunt Gertie going, that fucking bitch. Oh, boy. Oh, here he goes. You know what, goes, Greg? I say laying on the floor and trying to, like, brush off the feces off of my <laughs> Murphy Brown pantsuit with big shoulders. And I just kind of say, you know what? I think that, um, po poisonally, I think that Aunt Gertie came in here and she, she knocked the cake over because she was mad at, she, you know what? She's mad at you because you married a woman who is a, and she says a slur that I won't repeat. Let's see this um, cancel. Can you roll a persuasion? All right. There you go. Is she good at um, this? Yep. She certainly okay. is. Somehow this is okay. All I will say this is, is that the slur <laughs> contains like a mathematical term that refers to fractions. You're, you're, you're rolling for an intimidate here. I like it. So persuasion is good, right? Uh, yeah. Perse uh, yeah, persuasion yeah, is so good. So I got a, I got a nine. nine. You got a nine. So mixed success. Okay, so... He looks skeptical, but he's he's turning back to his phone to ask Aunt Gertie for her. Uh, he's he's like, oh, maybe that's true, but because um, Aunt Gertie's kind of mean. But he turns back to ask Aunt Gertie for what her side of the story is, and she starts to say, "I had my had my invitation. I was told that the wedding was called oh. off. That's why I came in and smashed the cake, <gasps> and I demand to know who told me that 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 the wedding was called off. It was an anonymous note." And I need to know who who sent it. Now you said that was a mixed success, but wait, wasn't that uh, wasn't that me redirecting attention for myself? Isn't that my unique talent? Um. Oh, I guess. I feel like that makes an eleven. No. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Is that I mean, you're the GM. Add two to the thing. That's what the unique talent is. Susan has an uncanny she... ability to redirect attention to oh, something yeah, else when she, she does, wants to take yeah. the heat off herself. Interesting. Well. Okay, well then, uh, yeah. He, yeah, so he's like, ah, fucking classic Granny Gertie. <laughs> uh, Grandma Gertie, like, he kind of rolls his eyes and he, like, covers the, the phone with his hand. And he goes, you know, Aunt Susan, like, I kind of understand why you guys don't get along. Oof. Devastating. Yeah, you know what, Craig? We've, we've been through a lot together. More than we can get to, get, uh, more than we can touch on in this brief conversation, but... I, uh, listen, your Aunt Gertie, she always said mean things about me, and she always said mean things about you, so mm -hmm. what you need to understand is that, you, I mean, she basically admitted it. It seems like she really knocked over the cake and or trampled her feces on the floor. I don't know that she meant, did she mention the, did she mention the feces aspect? Is that addressed in the phone? You know call? what? I don't listen to a lot of uh, things that she says, so who can say? But uh, presumably one of you was paying better attention than I was. Okay. Sorry, I got off my ADD medication and I'm on this, uh, what's this? It's cocaine. That's what it is. <laughs> well, that settles at least one of these mysteries here, right? Because we have clearly enough evidence that this woman messed up the cake in a jealous rage. Hmm. Um, yeah, you yeah. know what? You know who probably made her mad? It was that, uh, that distant cousin we don't talk to anymore, Bubble Butt. It was all her. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's really um, salting the earth for all these people's relationships. I think Susan is messy. Yeah. Craig goes, you know what? Yeah. I am messy, but I always hear salt of the earth is a good thing, so I try to salt the earth wherever I go. That's right. That's what they said. 
Um, yeah, Craig goes, yeah, I don't know. We haven't really talked to Bubble Butt in a long time. It seems kind of weird that she would do something like that. Um, can you roll Persuasion again? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I got a nine is my good Pretty number. Good. Oh, okay, and then, um, yeah, and you are trying to direct the heat up yourself, so that's an 11 again. Nice. Goes, Hell you yeah. And Susan, despite the fact that you've crashed my wedding and upset upset my wife um i i'm gonna take your word for this one um just just wish i knew who'd made that call um yep well you know what i may have crashed your wedding but uh you'll you'll love the wedding gift i gave you and if you look inside the box it's just like a just a giant like satchel of valium oh good lord <laughs> um craig goes oh thanks that's uh Yep, should have seen that one coming. Yeah. So anyway, I'm glad we saw. I'm glad we ended this on good terms. And she gives Craig like a big. Uh, I'm gonna say a big kind of. You know when somebody gives you a chest kiss on the cheek, but it's somehow wetter than any kiss oh. you've ever gotten on the mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she gives <laughs> Craig right. one of those, and then she runs back to. Was it Christopher? That's right. Yes. Yeah, we didn't change our names this time. Uh. Oh, whoops. Uh, my my thing is so unbelievably frozen. I can't do anything. So if you want to change our names again, yeah, I can do that. Uh, That's usually yeah, Josh's just job in a very timely manner. So I went up to uh, Christopher and said, "Okay, let's uh, solve this feces. Here's my plan. I think <laughs> we just compare stool samples. So everyone still in this room, you're gonna shit in a bucket, and we're gonna compare oh the smells to what's on the floor." Oh boy. Okay, you're gonna have to. Roll a roll mighty persuasion, persuasion um, with probably I want to say disadvantage because you're convincing four different people to shit in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not that's not something we normal we normally do, right? I'm just I mean I know I already know, but I'm just people don't usually <laughs> shit in buckets. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll these four dice and you tell me what happens. Okay. So I'm I'm initially not super opposed to the idea. Okay, so what is I can't really see what you've got there. I've got my sorry. I've got my screen kind of small, so I can see. Uh, I see if I even I see it's four sixes. That's incredible. That's yeah, that's weird. That that's, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm I think believe Kelly just. It's a, it's ocean. You oceans that's twelve. Right. Sorry, like I said, it's my computer. The frame rate is really choppy. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to roll again without cheating there this time? Okay. The ocean's eleven. To our ass. I think it's ocean thirteen. I didn't cheat the first time, Oof. but you know, in good faith. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's, that's not, not good. good at all. <laughs> yeah. So everyone says, absolutely fucking not. We're not doing that. Um, but the, I, not only are we not doing that, but I think we want to. I think we're gonna get you specifically to shit into a bucket while we all Already watch. Already on it. Susan. Okay. And me. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh yeah. I'm wait. Did you meet me or Christopher? We're standing close I, to each other, so I couldn't tell you were staring at when you said you. I am making a, a silent, but um, as quickly as I can, uh, sliding towards the, the door while people are discussing this. And my, my play is, is to kind of squish myself underneath the crack in the door frame. Under, wait, um, underneath okay. the door? Yeah, <laughs> yeah and that is... I'm going to have to shed my clothes for this. Like my human, I mean my, okay, the jig is up. I simply need to reveal my true form, I think. So what I'm going yeah. to do is remove my human clothes and make a play for the door. Um, I, I tendrils of algae and slime uh, unroll from my from my office shirt that has been broken open, and I I kind of release like a water balloon onto the ground as like a big mass of uh, really foul smelling goo from the river. Um, full of bugs and, and little critters, uh, and I start kind of sliding as a one thick, viscous mass towards uh, <laughs> the door as one being. Okay. Um, so you are Do trying I to notice sneak this is away. Oh, I, I, I mean, that's... Oh. Well, you're, 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 you're trying to... Right? You did say you're trying to sneak away while everyone's figuring this yes, out, right? I'm trying so to do this as quietly as possible. Okay, so you're going to roll stealth, which you're bad at, it, at but you do have <laughs> the unique ability... Okay. Um, of See, fitting through small you places. Always, when you're an octopus, you always pick a stealthy octopus. That's, right. that's just that's, that's right. just smart game playing. 
Amen. Um, so as a as a mass of slime and goo, you have no bin, no bones, and can fit through small spaces. Um, yes. So you should be able to slide under the door, but um, I do need you to roll stealth with disadvantage. Gotcha. Would that be two? Still yeah, two, two sets of die. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the worst one is a seven. Okay. Um, so you mix success. So you um do you make it to the door. Um, and I'm gonna say you start sliding under, but uh, it does say you date you take several minutes. Um, so you are so you've got like maybe one kind of appendage slid out the door. Um, mm-hmm. and uh, but you do Aunt Susan does notice you. Oh, bother. leaving. Oh yeah. Uh, so I, I'm going to, at this point, I don't really feel a lot of solidarity because I feel like I get the sense that um, he's trying to escape via a door crack. And while I don't fully understand like the mechanics of it, because I, I feel like Octodad style, I didn't notice that he was not or that he was whatever he is. Yeah, but it's a very I, Octodad strategy. Very I much. just feel betrayed and I yes. want to redirect attention. So I just want to like scream out, hey, look, he's some sort of... Lovecraftian horror, get him! Don't look oh, no. at me. <laughs> Don't bother. Okay. Um, okay, so then I guess you're gonna roll something to do with speed and getting away from people. Where is our rolling things? Um, you're gonna roll agility there, Christopher. I'm assuming I'm great at that. Okay. <laughs> um, my new, you are that, my unique that. talent of redirecting factor in here. So you just have to roll once. Okay. Because you don't uh, have. A, I, a I got a five. Um, so you, you don't manage to get out there. Um, Shit. um, so the, <clears throat> the entire crew jumps on you and kind of is able to scoop the majority oh, of geez. you into the same bucket that Aunt Susan was pooping into a second oh, ago. Oh, no. <laughs> or, I mean, that's actually, for me, that's actually fine. It's, yeah, I'm kind of used to that, but. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, we're getting close to time here um the manager so yeah i guess the manager upon revealing this that you are a sticky mass of goop the plumber goes oh my god that's exactly the goop that we found in the drains yeah i was avoiding saying this but i was trying to wash my hands and some of my goose left into the first you know first you wash your hand at one sink it starts to clog up you panic and you start trying the other ones but i was trying to blend in Um, but you see now that that was all for naught because i've been revealed Sorry, I messed up, messed up the plumber's voice. Um, so oh, the please. plumber, the plumber Mario is clearly, mm-hmm. clearly says, "Oh my God!" Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was my best Mario voice. That was really best. good. Thanks. So um, the, the sorry, oh, the plumber's, yes. cat, yeah, the mommy, plumber's yeah. catchphrase when he is very surprised is, "Oh my God!" <laughs> it's uh, yes. And he okay. goes, "It's not." Oh! It's not- Oh, I can't. It's not Mamma Mia, to be clear. It's not Mamma it's, Mia. It's, it's... It's, um, oh, oh my god. I mean, that's okay, too. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, oh, oh my <laughs> it's god. It's Yeah, <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm doubling down on that. No, it's, um, it's, oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my god, I make it to oh, olive yeah. oil. It's all just kind of like, he's kind of like a <laughs> secondary stereotype. A college whiz. He's, yeah, I imagine he's not happy, either. Yeah, he is very unimpressed. He's, he's broken several tools trying to, uh, fix this problem. Um... Yeah. And the, the manager, the having scooped you into a bucket, um, is uh, like, "Well, we've we've got you now. You have to, Fuck. you're gonna have to pay up and pay for this." Oh, um, yeah. So I'll give you. Well, how we... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I can give you one last chance to persuade mm-hmm. them out to, to, you know, ch- convince them not to. Uh, could not I, could to... I use any of my items you... at the same time? Um, you have oh, a God. live garter snake. <laughs> Right. You have pays off, okay. Um, which you can use Sorry, as a what, diversion, or you have a slippery What item category was a live garter snake? Distraction, <laughs> okay. diversion. Okay, that sounds like diversion, a good one. Yeah. What was the other one? I already forgot. Uh, for slippery one. goo, which you could use as a. Tool. That's just me. Okay, okay. I can. All right, I can make someone slip on that. Okay. Um, I'm going to deploy my garter snake and kind of release it in a startling fashion. It was kind of living in the folds of my um, corpuscle or whatever. Okay. I'm releasing it to kind of freak everyone out, and while that happens, I can kind of jostle out of the bucket and make my second escape. Okay, that's right. Deploy that garter snake like you were Prince Charles. Okay, right. Just, <laughs> sorry, Jesus King Charles. Christ. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't sorry. believe you made me remember that. So I'm gonna say you're gonna roll um, 
let's say speed for this one. Love it. Okay. okay. Um, I'm rolling just once. Yeah. Uh, seven. A seven. Okay. Um, yep. So mixed success. So you okay? Yeah, I guess you wriggle out of the bucket. Um, yes. but you you wriggle out of the bucket and you know what? You're able to wriggle under the door, but you notice as you've left that you left your wallet behind and you know, being an amorphous blob that can't get a bank account, you've <laughs> you've kept all your cash in there, so you did end up oh, in fact paying for the damages. Um so oh, Dang, I needed that stuff. I needed money for my human and services thing. and whatnot. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, the manager, bride, and groom, um, sated and satisfied by the fact that they've uh, found someone to cover the damages, uh, or, um, decide to let everyone else go. And um, that's the end of our story. Made it out of there, though. Mm-hmm. Live another Made day. Made it out. Made it out. Now, if I Big brain. if my computer wasn't running at one frame per second here uh i would be playing that dramatic outro music right now oh yeah you know, kind of beatbox yeah, i could probably something. do that it's it's there it's just yeah uh, yeah you right could right beatbox right. to this you could do a jaunty dance right. to this this uh, is me beatboxing right now. all right okay so we are like, honestly we'll just take over. five takes at it and you try to be boxed all of them and whichever one is the best we'll keep in and that'll really get us we'll just yeah, right, 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 right. Right. yes okay nothing we can't fix in post you know mm. totally okay so we are five minutes over kelly did you want to fess up to what you did oh boy okay so i okay i i'm trying to remember the verbal correction you gave me earlier so i told grandma gertie not to show up right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and my reasoning was uh well it's just still the same right like my reasoning mm -hmm. was because she says mean shit to me yeah um but the outcome was different in that she did show up and she came and fucked up the cake yeah she didn't show up to the ceremony then she realized what was happening um someone called her and was like what well, grandma gertie where are you and she was like what and she, um, yeah, came to the wedding, fucked up the cake, and then left. And... Five-dimensional chess. Mm -hmm. oh, my computer's working normally again. I think it's just the dice cam that breaks it. That's interesting. Oh. Oh. Not interesting to anybody watching. The role so, for that. Um, yeah. yeah, Christopher, I'll do it. also known as... Absolutely tank me here. Sorry, continue. You guys she do your is... thing. Christopher, also known as Glom. Um, That's my true name, yes. <laughs> tried to, uh, as we know, tried to wash their hands in the sink. And uh, sink and toilets and drains, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Because um, you clogged everything in the bathroom, yeah, according to your okay, secret. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, that's why the bathroom was flooded. Um, and then the secret secret um that neither of you knew was that the bride um got real drunk um shit her dress and then tracked it all over the floor that's who the poop was. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering oh. that. check off poop check off poop wow we've been bamboozled wow i assume that was coming from the plumbing disaster as well that i may have caused oh. that's right that check off poop, poop. Check off poop means that if there is poop in the scene someone uh -huh. will shit that poop by the end of the play you gotta know who shit the poop <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. So, All right. Thank well, you. That was, I learned so much. That was a whirlwind. Uh, do, do you want to do you want to plug anything before we go? Uh, yeah. Besides the toilets and all the sinks? Hey, I'm about to go <laughs> plug some toilets. Uh. <laughs>